Hello, hello, everybody. We are live. Oh, my goodness. It's Burns. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox Kitchen. We are here. It is a little bit later than we usually get started, but that's okay. We are here together. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm your certified detox specialist. And in our juicy kitchen, we get really juicy. We have a lot of fun. We talk about a lot of juicy topics. So if you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you. I want to really welcome you and say that you are, ah, your presence here is valuable. It is, it is important to our, our community. And thank you so much for popping in and for checking this out. Today, it's Friday, you guys. It's Friday and the shops, the, the, the Walmart parking lot was bananas. And then I walked into the, into the store and this woman was like, oh my God, look at all these people here. One of the um, uh, employees at the store. We had a grand conversation. Oh my goodness. So many amazing people out there doing their thing. Hi, Amy, just popping in because I got to go nap. Yeah, girl, go have a nap. Go have a nap. Rest yourself. Catch up get that energy rejuvenated. We will see you uh, later or whenever you go have a rest, okay? Um, so yes, we are <clears throat> getting juicy with ourselves. But if you did not catch the stories that I did, I just came back from doing some shopping. And in that uh, shopping trip, oh, thank you so much, Lana. Lana says, yay, you look so cute today. Love the look. Thank you, thank you. One of my favorite uh, fur jackets. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a little chilly. It's a little bit chilly in the house, but you know, so every so often I, I just reach for whatever jacket is handy where that I, that I had on. So let me share this out quickly to a few of our juicing communities, because you know, I love sharing this where so many of you are able to access this information, uh, because you're looking in the groups, you're looking for what is going to help you with your um, your healing journey. I, this, these batteries in here need to, need to be changed. So let's go here. So we are gonna share this out to Juicing for Health. These are uh, Facebook groups. If you're interested in finding other like-minded people who are on this juicing journey as well, check out these groups, Juicing for Health, uh, Juicing and Raw Food Support uh, for your healing journey and Solid Food Vacation slash juice feasting. Those are some really good ones. And then the ones that I um, am also in the Dr. Morse groups are sharing the detox diet by Dr. Robert Morse ND and fans of Dr. Robert Morse ND. So if you are watching this um, in any of those groups, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you are here. Hello, Dawn. Hello, just came in too. I had to get go get pineapples for juice and of course some canned coconuts so I could do that pulp pina colada trick from this morning. We're gonna do that here on the Real Juicy Detox. I've got my pineapple and my orange pulp. I have not been saving my pulp. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I have, you know, slight remorse for composting all of my 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 pulp, but that's okay. It's all right, it's all good, it's all good. But we are going to turn that pulp now. From now on, we're saving it in Ziploc bags and we are freezing it in our freezer. I'm, I'm flattening them down really flat like a pancake in that Ziploc bag so that we can stash and store as much frozen fruit pulp as possible so that we can use it at any point in time. We always have our own frozen fruit ready to go in the freezer. What if we can't get out to go shopping? What if, what if, what if, what if? You never know. Let's be prepared. As raw vegans, we rely and we depend on our raw food for our nourishment, right? So we need to make sure that we are prepared for maybe a shortage one day. So that is what we're doing. That's what I'm doing in the Real Juicy Detox Kitchen. I have got to make sure that I've, I'm prepared for everything that can come by. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be making that pina, we're going to be doing that pina colada trick today. We're also going to be doing, I've got some of the, these beautiful fruits. So um, Gabriella, hey, Gabriella, I was watching your stories. I'm impressed how people were being nice to you. I have dirty looks sometimes because of no mask. Well, I'm sure I get dirty looks too, but not really. A couple times, but I don't care. I'm not looking for them. Um, that's not, if you look at my smile as I walk by you and I smile and I 
act as normal. And you have a problem with that? I actually wanted to do that as a live. And the next time I go shopping, I'm going to take you guys out gallivanting with me out and about shopping. You know what was really interesting in that whole thing, in that whole time that I was out today? How many conversations I had with everyday people who are waking up. That was just very, 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 very interesting. Unsolicited conversations, people like waking up. People are just like, they're amazing. It's also about the energy and the stance of what, of how you feel, right? I bounce into stores and I'm not expecting a, a, a any battle with anybody, right? From the store attendant who's in the front who's saying, ma'am, do you have a mask? And I say, thank you so much. I'm medically exempt. And I keep moving. I keep walking. I don't even give them time to, 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 nobody is harassing me. Nobody is harassing you. Nobody is harassing you out there. And if they are, you need to keep moving. Just say, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you. I love you too. Keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. Keep moving. I got freezer bags too, so I can start saving. Such a genius idea. We are shutting down Saturday again in PA. Oh my gosh, Dawn. When, that, when you say you're shutting down on Saturday again, what does that mean? Does that mean your stores are all closed? Or are you not going to be able to get out to the grocery store at all? Eee. I just got banned from Facebook. Ah, oh, it didn't even give me a time period. What did you do, Kristen? Tell us so that I know not to do it because I don't want to get banned. If I ever get banned on this platform, you don't see me posting, you don't know what's going on, then you need to find me somewhere else. Where would you find me? BitChute. I have an account on BitChute, but I don't upload there. But if ever I did get banned anywhere, I would go to BitChute. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. BitChute. How did you get banned? Come, tell us. Give me the lowdown. Give me the lowdown. I got so many things to do in the kitchen today, you guys. What should we do first? What should we do first? Well, I have. Uh, I can do. Well, let me show you what I got right here that I that I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, prepping. I got to move this over some more. Which way do I got to go? I got to go this way. I got, uh, I picked this up. So uh, Gabriella was talking about, uh, talking about that uh, I was watching you in my stories today. So I took you guys shopping in my Instagram stories. And here I've got my yumminess cam. <laughs> Do you guys like that? Food cam just wasn't explanatory enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, but here, what I've got here, I got this at Farm Boy. Look at this, $2.50. I spent $50 in total, $53, and I got bags and bags and bags of fruit. So I got some of these, um, uh, uh, how do you pronounce that? At, uh, atulfo, atulfo um, uh, mangoes. I got this giant dragon fruit. Look at this. We're going to cut into that. I've got a beautiful mango. Mm, oh, baby. Right, I got three of these Atufo mangoes. I don't know if they're gonna be good inside. Usually they are. Last time I got some, they were not so great. So we're gonna cut into these. I also wanna make a pina colada shake out of that frozen fruit. So I kinda wanna do that first. I kinda wanna eat some of this fruit first, but I kinda wanna make that smoothie to see if it's going to work. So uh, let's dig in and um, let's get juicy. Kristen, why'd you get banned? As a pharma injured person and a moderator and run several groups, I posted on the FDA live stream yesterday on the approval of the vaccine. They didn't like what I said. Wow, girl, you know? It's a fine line between speaking your truth and knowing how and where to do it so that you kind of fly under the radar for as long as possible. But definitely you, you, if you're a, a, an admin or a moderator in, and you're pharma injured and you're speaking out like you are and like you should, yeah, that's going to happen. That is going to happen. That's why I'm very careful about what I, you know, 
what I say and what I what I type. And I stopped completely, completely stopped posting on my profile any headline or title or um, articles or information or links about anything related to any of this stuff that's going on. I'll say it in the videos though. But I got to be careful because I don't want to get my ass banned either. Things are closing, but we can still get essentials, groceries, et cetera, at, at limited hours and masks are mandatory. I have a six mile trail behind my house. So I still get out daily and live my ma life mask free at a girl. I counsel people every day who are suicidal from pharma drugs. Oh baby, you're such an angel on this earth. You really, really are. I opened my mouth and said I wouldn't take their vaccine in Hamburg. She was head of FDA during Obama. Obama. Her husband made 800 million. Thanks for the shopping trip. Loved watching them. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Next time I'm going to do it live because then I'll be able to, you guys can see it. Like that whole entire stream of um, uh, the Instagram and Facebook lives. So if you guys haven't seen it today and you're watching this live, go and check them out. I'm on Instagram. The links are in the description. You'll find it. Um, but uh, that was like moment by moment by moment by moment. I didn't really didn't leave out anything. And I apologize. Did I double post a lot of or any of the um, of the the stories? Let me know because sometimes I forget. I don't know if I did. I hit that right. Did I post it? That was really good. I don't want to. I don't want to x out of it if I didn't post it. You know what I mean? Overnight after yeah, made eight hundred overnight after she voted to keep Levaquin on the market. Crazy. Blueberries juice doesn't work. It turned into jelly. I know. I think I, yeah, it's got that pectin in it and all that skin, right? Where a lot of that pectin is, I think it's in the skin too. So yeah, I would recommend not juicing blueberries. Was it you that asked Natalie yesterday about juicing blueberries? I wouldn't juice the blueberries. I would use it as a smoothie or eat them, uh, you know, in raw or in a, in a bowl, a smoothie bowl. Which is, by the way, kind of what I want to do today. I kind of want to make this pineapple, orange, coconut, chia pudding as opposed to a smoothie because I don't really drink smoothies that much. I'm too cold all the time. I'll still fight with them just on the website, on, on MeWe now. Okay, I should look into that too. I had guessed 64 and it was cheaper. Great haul. Yeah, because I said in the stories, how much do you guys think this is all going to come to? And 64? Yeah, I think it was 53 or 54, which is great. You didn't see the live chat. Okay, so the live chat. So we're talking about the, on the stories, on my Insta stories. So they're still there. They're there for 24 hours. It was you. Yeah, so I was talking about that. Blueberries, I don't know if that's going to be you know, that great for, um, for juicing because this is, you need a lot of blueberries to get blueberry juice. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me put this keyboard out of the way since I'm not using it or, um, I don't know. It's, I think it needs batteries. Yeah, it does. It needs batteries. Let me put some new batteries in here in case I need to type anything. You guys can see how messy my, look at my my dish trainer did not get sorted out this morning, but that's okay. That is okay. That is all right. It's all right. Oh my goodness. It's Friday. God, Friday rolls around so fast, it seems. The week's... The days just fly right on by. I think that happens when you're living your purpose and you're just excited every day to get up and there's so much happening. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel my life is. Not always been like that. You know, I've struggled. I've struggled with not knowing what my purpose is and, and, and <laughs> being scared to live my purpose when I, you know, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, let's get this uh, iPad, this um, keyboard synced up here. Because, you know, from time to time, I like to come onto the iPad. And especially when you guys have your um, 
your amazing shares and your amazing, uh, you know, check out this website for that. I'm like, oh, let me check that out. And I like to go on my keyboard. Let's see here, keyboard. No, I want to go on to Bluetooth. Keyboard connected. Awesome. Awesome. I love when shit works. You know what I'm saying? I love when shit works. So we'll put this keyboard over here on the on the iPad. Let me see. Hello, my dear friend, says Rosie. Hello, hello. How are you today, Rosie? So good to see you. How's Chris doing? How's your delicious lover doing today? And how is Kiana doing? Did you get, did you, did you let her know that we were talking yesterday and that she should watch last night's um, class? I hope, I hope she watches. Hi, Kiana, if you're watching. Hey, girl, how you doing? Thank you all. Thank Hi, all. Thank you for taking us shopping today. It was so much fun. I'm so glad you guys liked it. Oh, my goodness. You are the best. Okay, let me go over there and let me find the coconut milk that I got. I got three different kinds of coconut milk. We're going to be trying them, not all in one shot, like not all today, although that would make, that would make more sense. Which one is better? But we're going to try the first one. I think I want to try the carton because I have never bought that brand in the Tetra pack or the carton pack. So let me go get that. Let's see. Let us see, where is it? Uh, it's not that one. Okay, so here we've got three different brands of coconut milk. Three different brands, let me see, let's see. Okay, so we have got this, this is what I call the Tetra Pack. I think that's what they're called, but this is the one that is not, um, not in the can. So I got this one because I have never seen the Aeroy D. This is a brand that I usually get. And it is 99.95% uh, coconut milk. And there is some a stabilizer in it called polysorbate. And I think that is not really that bad for you, right? Um, uh, and I've got the Acroy D coconut milk in this pack. Now, if this works for me, if I like this um, brand, then I'm going to buy this by the case. I can't even remember how much it was. I'm sure it's in the stories on one of those stories. So I could see it if one of you want to look it up and see if I caught the price on the shelf. Uh, so there's this. And then there is also this one, coconut cream the Savoy brand. This one sounds very liquidy. This one, the Aroy, uh, the Aroy D, it's not shaking at all. So what, what does that tell me for this one? That tells me that this one is probably gonna be really thick, have that really nice, thick, heavy coconut cream, uh, usually at the top, but Oh, I got it. I, I, I moved it. You can hear it now. So this one is really thick. And then this one, you can hear it a little bit. But what I like about this one and all of them, but you can store this at room temperature, uh, store at room temperature once opened. Shelf life is max three days in the fridge uh, to regain original texture from hardening due to the cold climate. Place the product in hot water or bath for five uh, five to 10 minutes and stir occasionally. So this is gonna be heavy in the cream department as well, the coconut fat. So Chris is here and Kiana is home, no school today. Hi guys. Hi fam, how are you doing? How are you doing? So glad that you guys are here hanging out with Burns today. Yesterday we streamed for nine hours in total, maybe more. Maybe more. Where is my, um, 
I thought that was a lot of fun. It was crazy, crazy how many, let's see, my live videos. An hour, that was this morning, two and a half hours plus five and a quarter hours plus 51 minutes. That's a lot. Five, seven, it's like eight hours. Is it? No. Seven and a half plus five and a quarter. That's, I mean, two and a half plus five and a quarter. That's seven and three quarters plus 51 minutes. So that's eight, like eight hours. We streamed eight hours. It was so much fun. We got so much stuff done, did we not? What we're going to do is I want to make a, um, like a chia pudding. Let's do a chia pudding with that fruit that we froze. So what I've got here is I've got those two, two of the, um, the Ziploc bags of the pulp that we had after juicing our juice yesterday. So we've got that. Uh, this one is like clementine and some orange, and this one is pineapple. So if this works, we're in business, baby. If this works, we are on fire. We are in business. Do I have everything I need? I think I've got everything I need. Okay. So let's start with a blender. I'm going to start with my Vitamix blender. Is that clean? Yes, it is. Does it smell like garlic from yesterday? <laughs> the inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So what am I going to do? I'm just making this up on the fly. All right. This might totally not work and it might be like, ooh. Mm. Okay. So that smells delicious. So this was frozen last night because I just threw them all into the freezer. Uh, you guys want us to do some measurements so in, case, in case it turns out phenomenal? All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's do half a cup of pineapple pulp that was uh, juiced, got the juice out of it. This is just the pulp. So I've got, where's my camera? Where is my camera? Where's my angle, baby? Where is my angle, baby? Okay, so I've got half a cup of pineapple pulp. And if you don't like pineapple, use what you like. Make it, make it yours. I've got half a cup of orange pulp. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna love this. I think this is gonna be really good. And let's go with half a cup of coconut milk. Half and half and half. That will make it quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby, that is so normal. You got the fuzzy teeth. Everybody put your hand up if you've experienced the fuzzy teeth in the beginning of your juicing journey. It doesn't happen to me anymore, but damn, that is like, what is going on with my teeth? They feel so fuzzy. Totally normal. Yep. Hey, Jal, Del in the house. I buy Thai kitchen coconut milk in the States. Used to buy the full fat, but lately have been buying the light cut with water. Yeah, you can do that. Totally. Totally. Right now I'm drinking the grapefruit that I juiced last night and a little bit of pineapple juice. So good. Doesn't it sound yummy? Oh my God. So half a cup of pineapple, half a cup of, um, what was that? That was like the clementine pulp. And the date, expiry date, 13 of 12, 2021. So that's good. Now we're going to go in with half a cup of, ooh, look at that. That looks good. I could feel the coconut cream not, okay, one second. This needs to go in a little bit of a warm bath because the, the coconut cream is, 
is not um it's like sticking to the side of the of the thing so hold on hi kitty how are you what do you want i wonder i wonder what you could possibly want kitty cat is it food yes it's food okay Come on, Dottie. Come on, Dottie. You too. While I'm feeding the cats, I'm going to... Okay, kitty, I'm coming. While I'm feeding the cats, first of all... I want to get this coconut milk back into here because I want to... You know what would be super fabulous with this? Some of this, some of this mango. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Okay. Is she reputable? Does she have a following on you on, on TikTok? Yeah. So she's not going to rip you off because she doesn't want to risk losing, <clears throat> losing her her reputation is everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I get payment before I start services. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Can you put that? Can you put that in the fridge for me? Yes. Thank you, babe. What? Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Did you try on your outfit? You must see it. I have not tried on my little outfit that I got, but I'll show it to you. While I'm letting the coconut milk uh, heat up a little bit, because, you know, they said that right on the package. I actually read the instructions for, for how to do this. It said put it in a little warm water bath in order to get it all, um, you know, incorporated. Uh, thank you, baby. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and Kelly says, I still get fuzzy teeth. I hate it. I don't get the fuzzy teeth anymore, but man, that my first 40 day cleanse, totally. I'll show you my outfit I got. I love our Canadiana brand branded um, clothing that we have. And Walmart actually has some amazing Canadian branded stuff. But I got this T-shirt and it's a really beautiful quality. Oh, my gosh. the it, It's it's exquisite. I freaking love it. Go Walmart. So I got my Canada branded T-shirt. And you know what? I'll put it on tonight. I don't want to put this on still in case there's anything dirty on there. Um, and then I got these track pants. These are a girl's size. I buy girl size clothing because A, it's cheaper than buying women's size clothing. And I fit into it. That's the crazy thing. So I got these track pants. That is the crazy ass thing is I fit into this stuff. Or at least I hope I do. I better try it on before I cut off the, the, the label, the tag, though. But it should. I go hip to hip. And it, and it stretches. My other Canadian oh, on the booty, a little Canada on the booty, a little Canada on the booty. 
a little candid on the booty, but these fit really good. And I had bought, my gray ones are extra large, I think. This is a large size 10 to 12 girls. And um, they fit great and they get really stretched out. So they get my, my large size, which is a size 14 to 16 um, girls, 14 to 16. They're so loose on me, they're so baggy. I, I actually bought them and they were pretty snug. I bought them in before I started my juice cleanse. They're super loose on me now. So I thought, you know what? Let me get some, and they're red. How cute is that? Perfect for Christmas time as well. Yes, so that is my outfit. Is baby girl seeing a psychic? We want details. Yes, baby girl seeing a psychic. I'll give you the details. I want Walmart in the UK. It sounds amazing. I really like Walmart. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people, There's there was when Walmart first came to Canada and really started to get big. I used to live in a really small town in, um, in Ontario called Mild May. Yes, in the middle of but fuck nowhere, correct. And... Um, <laughs> Great town, great people, loved living there. And our town was a thousand people. So to get to the nearest Walmart, we had to go two towns over to the town of Hanover. And when Walmart, when Walmart first came to Hanover, gosh, this was before Kyle was born, like 18, 18 years ago, um, uh, there was the people were not happy because it was like you're going to kill small businesses. Uh, people are not going to want to shop local anymore. It's going to kill business, and that well, that may be true. That is just part and parcel of of the economy, right? I love Walmart because I can get stuff cheap. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for example, this T-shirt was fourteen, fifteen bucks for this T-shirt. Easily for this quality, I would have, and Walmart has come up in their quality and their clothing, which I really like. Their, their, their cuts, their fit, um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And, you know, it's what's there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to oblige and I'm going to, um, yeah. I can't wear anything without washing it. The off gas is making me, my skin itch and feel as if I'm on fire. Yeah, I imagine that would definitely be a factor, babe. Me too, Kelly. I have to wash all chemicals off. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It doesn't bother my skin. I'm grateful for that, but I should. But I don't. <laughs> this is how it is. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about that. What I want to add into here is one of these mangoes, though. Uh, so let's. Oh God, I love these mangoes. I only recently started eating these. Mal, how do you pronounce it again? A tolfo, a tolfo, a tolfo mangoes. I've only I might be pronouncing that wrong. Forgive me if I am. Um, but I really like these. I mean, I really, really like them. They're so meaty and they're so sweet. And where is my small knife? I still haven't found this strainer from last night, you guys. I'm like, where, the, where in the name of God is that strainer? But that's okay, so you don't need the strainer today. but I would like to find my paring knife. <laughs> would that be too much? There we go. So somebody asked if, if my baby girl is gonna be seeing a psychic and I, I said she is. So I wanted to tell you about that. You pronounced it right. Okay, good. My, those are my favorite mangoes, like seriously, so good, right? Yeah, so Kaya just uh, wanted to see um, she had asked me, what do you think about seeing a psychic? I kind of want to get a reading, a, you know? And I said, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I've, I've gotten many readings from different psychics along my journey. And it's really good to, um, 
it's really it's really cool. Oftentimes, it totally totally matches up with with how your life is um, in the moment with that. So, yeah, I'm all about I'm all about that. If if you're if that is in alignment with sort of what you like too, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to get this peeled and keep our fingers crossed that it is not. Oh, oh my God. The aroma on this mango is just, oh, so sexy. You smell so sexy, baby. Do you guys like mangoes? Oh my God, I love mangoes. Love me some mangoes. You know, growing up in Trinidad, mm, things I will, things I wish I didn't take for granted so much. Picking a mango fresh off my mango tree in my in my own yard. Yeah, I I should not have taken that for granted. Going to my my tangerine tree and picking tangerines fresh off the tree in in abundance. We had so much fruit. Something else I wish I didn't take for granted as much, although I think at the time I was very much aware of how freaking amazing it was. Having so much avocado in my backyard under the tree that we would take it and use it to wash our hair. Yes, face masks. Because we didn't, we, we couldn't eat, we, we just couldn't eat, it, eat them fast enough. It was crazy. Look at that. That is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's some good shit right there. So we're going to get a half a cup of mango. We've got a half a cup of clementine pulp. We've got half a cup of mango. I never prepare food like this when it comes to this type of food. But for you, because I know you're going to ask me, what was the recipe for that? So we're write it down, half a cup, half a cup, half a cup of fruit. Oh my gosh, this mango. Mmm. Mm-hmm, Kristen. Mine too. I made a wicked mango chutney, oh baby. It was cooked, but it was all just sweetened with raisins. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me while I have a moment with this delicious mango seed. Mm -hmm. When you get down closer to the seed, it's got a little bit of a sour little Mm, two, you know. Mm. That is good. Okay, so half a cup of mango going in. And now that we've got our coconut milk all warmed up. And what you can do with this, if you don't have time to use the rest of it, because there's a lot in here, it's a liter. Gosh, I gotta go check back on the, see, yeah, that's that's how we want it to pour. I knew it, it was a bit too um, thin when I poured it. And I could see a little bit of the, the like um, chalkiness almost to it. So that's how I knew that it, the cream wasn't all melted but now the cream is all beautifully melted. So we're gonna go in there with, and I'm not too worried about the fat content in this coconut milk, you guys. Honestly, my I have not watched fat content whatsoever since being on this juicing protocol. And I am very happy with how my body is responding to that. So what I might do with this though, because I'm probably not gonna use a liter like all in one shot, I I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about fat, but I just naturally don't eat a lot of fat because the stuff that I make is so satisfying that I don't need to, right? Hey, Alana, says Kelly. 
Okay, if it's a good, accurate reading, I want her info, please. Okay, you got it, babe. You betcha. Kelly says, I went to the doctor's office a few days ago and told them I'd be glad when you guys stop getting new stuff in here. It makes me sick. I get anxiety every time I go in from the off gases. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, that is a real, that is a real, a real thing, right? It's all in the carpet. It is in all of the furniture. It's in all of the paint that comes off. It's in everything, all of the furnishings. Hey there, Alana. I'm at physical therapy. How's everyone? And have, I hope everyone's having a great day. We are. We are. We're so glad that you're in here. Oh my goodness. I hope it's going well at physical therapy, babe. Okay. So there we go. We've got half a cup of pineapple, half a cup of <clears throat> pulp, pineapple pulp after it was juiced, half a cup of the orange clementine juice after it was juiced, pulp after it was juiced. We've got a whole, a uh, half of a cup of mango chopped up, fresh mango chopped up. And we've got half of a cup of this coconut milk. We're going to blend that up. I'm going to put in, even though there's a lot of sweetness in here, still going to put in a little bit of maple syrup. I just want to, and I can. So we've got some pure maple syrup, pure Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> that is not um, uh, syrup that's made to taste like maple. This is actual Canadian maple syrup. I'm very fortunate that I live in an area that is surrounded by mm, the little bit of sugar that kind of crystallizes on the outside of that. Mm. I would say two tablespoons of maple syrup. But yeah, I'm surrounded by maple um, maple farms and beautiful families, Mennonite families that make maple syrup. You can buy this maple syrup by the gallon jug where I live. Very reasonable prices too. I'm not clear on the fat situation if trying to detox, yay or nay. If you're detoxing and you're, we want to have an accelerated detox, then you would have less fat just because you're going to focus on fruit and fruit in general doesn't have any fat in it. Uh, you want to focus on your plant fats like your coconut. Coconut is a good healthy plant fat. It is all alkaline and it is good. Um, uh, so... Um, I do eat avocado, oh, there you go, and some coconut milk, sometimes a few olives. That's fine. If I mean, I know you're you're working on, on on healing your body, but you're also in a position, Jal, where you can you're you're trying to gain a little bit of weight. So you want to go into that plant, the more concentrated plant, uh, plant fat. I would, I would, you know, also add in a few vegetables into your protocol as well. Hey, hey, Sahar, so how are you, babe? How is your tooth abscess feeling? Did you get a con? Did you have your appointment with the dentist? I know you said it was a virtual appointment. I don't know. Do you just, I guess that would work, right? Did you hear back? Aaliyah wants to share with you that she was making the buckwheat grow cookies. Yes! Go, so, Aaliyah, go. So, Aaliyah is uh, Sahar's 10-year-old daughter who's been doing this juice detox for how long? How long have you guys been raw? Since like August. The day I, Aaliyah and her mom, Aaliyah's been watching me through her mom. And um, you keep hearing an echo. Shite, you just told me that. What about now? Okay, you guys listened to me for 45 minutes and you heard me echoing and you didn't say anything. It's my side because you don't hear an echo now. Shit, I'm sorry. But yeah, Aaliyah started watching me as her mom was watching me and her and her mom and I connected before I started doing the juicing. <clears throat> and um, let me blend this up. Let me blend this up so we can, we can munch on this while we chat. 
But yay to Aaliyah for, for making the buckwheat groats cookies. Oh my gosh, how did they turn out? How are they going? Oops. I need my 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 plunger. Okay, so I do not want to make it too warm because if I leave it in there for too long, it will start to get warm and I don't want that coconut milk to do anything funky like separate on me. You know what I'm saying? But look at this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Since August. Yeah, so Sahar was watching me doing all the juicing. Uh, Natalie, I'm going to come to you in a second, babe. Yes, it's better now. So I forgot to mute it on my on my phone on this side here. Mm. You guys. Going to give it a little bit more maple syrup. Mm. A pinch of salt. And I want to blend that up again because I do want that pulp to be a little bit smoother. A little bit. Oh, that's salt on the top there. All right, that was all right. The echo wasn't there the entire time, just started and now it's good. Okay, good. They are delish and super crunchy, right? Those, those, it's just nut butter and maple syrup and uh, mm, sprouted groats that you dehydrate after you sprout them and you mix it all together and the, it's so crunchy. And like, uh, like um, uh, one of my daughter's friends says, and I'm going to put another half a cup of coconut milk in there. Um, Antoine, you guys know Antoine, Antoine. Kaya's friend, Antoine, uh, says that they it's everything you want in a candy bar. And if you wanted the chocolate part of the candy bar, you can make a tempered raw vegan chocolate with just some coconut oil, some coconut butter. I use raw cacao butter um, and some raw cacao powder. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm going to start, I'm going to start a little cookie thing going to make some Christmas cookies that are all raw vegan that are so good. Oh my God. Your recipes that you guys are posting in the group as well. Holy crap. You guys are rocking it in the kitchen. Jeez. And Aaliyah, even our 10 year old Aaliyah, can we get some love for Aaliyah? She is just rocking this. Yes. One cup of coconut milk altogether. The cookies are delicious. I made some for hubby. He loves them. Right, Kristen? Awesome. Alana, thank you. Half a cup mango, clementine pulp, pineapple pulp, one cup of coconut milk. And I would say a quarter of a cup of, of maple syrup, maybe, maybe less. You can also use dates if you didn't want to use maple syrup. Um, uh, so Natalie, you have a great question. Here it is. Let me blend this up and then I will be um, coming back to that. Hold on one second.
So one of the things that I love about that Vitamix is that it has these different functions on it. Oh yeah, that's really smooth. Can you guys see that? Let me show it to you up close. Cool. That's how thick it is. Let's give it a taste. So I spilled some on my on my on my chopping board, but that's okay because that was the mango chopping board. Oh wow, you guys! Mm. That mango in there, the coconut milk makes it perfectly smooth and delicious. Mm. Let me pour that back in there because I didn't mean to spill it all there. I thought it was going to stick to the side a little bit more, but this is a perfect consistency. Mm. Beautiful flavor. You can taste the coconut cream, but it's not overpowering, you know? Holy moly. <laughs> Is this what they call like those acai berry bowls? Is this what that is? Holy moly. I have been missing out. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. This is bananas. This is bananas. Wow. So I want to put some chia seeds in here. I have another bag that's open, but that's okay. These do not go rancid, as far as I know. Okay, so into this, I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of chia seeds. We're going to make a pina colada. Smoothie, chia smoothie bowl. A pina colada chia pudding bowl. And the chia seeds are so packed with minerals, great for amino acids, bioavailable protein, you guys. Not some meat that's not bioavailable, that's got to be broken down so the body can deal with it and then leave behind a big acid hit. There's no dairy in here to clog you up and make you all mucousy and aggravate your your, your mucosa lining, <clears throat> bringing on asthma, cold, flu, tonsillitis, all of that clogging up. This is not going to clog up your thyroid gland because, you know, your thyroid gland is located right near to, to your throat. What gets impacted when, you're, when you're, you're eating a lot of dairy? All that mucus in that area, all that stagnation in the throat.
Oh, yeah. I think I may have put too much coconut milk. Sometimes too much coconut milk leaves a kind of aftertaste for me. Mm. Mm. No, I like it. This is really good. What are you calling this? I'm calling this a fucking amazing chia pudding. Can we call it that? Can we just call this what it is? This is fucking amazing chia pudding. Tropical style. I guess we cannot call it that because we can't have kids walking around saying, oh, I made some really good, <laughs> fucking amazing chia pudding. Mm. Mango madness. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes, Kristen, put some in the freezer, make sherbet out of it. Totally can do that. Good afternoon, Gwen. Good day, Juicy Juicers. Burns, I'm late. No, you're not. You're right on time. You're never late. You're here right in the time that's right for you, baby. I'll show you the recipe. Alana just wrote it down. I just used the pulp from my juice last night. Mm. And as this chia seeds set, they're going to soften up. It's kind of going to be like mini bo uh, bobo tea, you know, the bobao tea, or how, how do you pronounce that? Bubble tea, you know. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I'm going to eat that. I am going to eat that. Not all of it. Okay, all of it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm just going to come back and eat it anyhow. If you had a little bit of mint, that would go nicely in here. I do not, unfortunately. I do not. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And then also one cup of um, coconut milk. Although I would say I, I should have stuck with the half a cup of coconut milk and maybe added a little bit of pineapple juice. That would have been really good. But remember, I'm playing with an, uh, an idea here. I'm playing with the idea that if we couldn't find fresh pineapples to juice, what would I feed my family? The pulp we can store in the freezer. You know what I'm saying? The, um, the pulp we can store in the freezer. The coconut milk could be a pantry item. You can get it in these uh, Tetra packs, these, you know, soft packs. So you're not having any canned goods, but if you didn't, couldn't access that, or you were okay with using canned goods, you know, coconut milk. And, um, I could always guys, we're going to, we're going to do something here. We're going to create something with this, with this chia pudding situation that we just created together. I'm going to do my first ever fruit bowl. Y'all, I don't make fruit bowls. I don't know why. I guess it's because I just love drinking my fruit, you know. Nonetheless, we're going to do a little fancy dancy chia pudding bowl. So I got this um 
dragon fruit. I love how we cook together, you know? I love how we do this cooking together thing. We, we, we see how easy it is to come up with brilliant cooking or food or recipe ideas that are not going to, um, are not gonna create the, the old situation that we had going on in the body. I love how we're learning to do this creative, raw vegan, beautiful live food living experience. Like look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? So first of all, I will be the first to say I did not experience this fruit until this year. I have passed a dragon fruit in the grocery store countless times and thought, I wonder what that tastes like. Well, pick it up and buy it, Burns, and go home and taste it. And when I did that, and the first time I opened this up, I was just like, what? What beauty is this that I am beholding? Have any of you ever eaten dragon fruit? Look at that. Oh my God, you guys, look at that. Remember what I was saying before that the flesh around the seed is very important to the vital nutrients for that seed to later become another plant. No, I'm just going to add, <laughs> I'm just going to add some fruits to the top of it. I'm going to dress up my fruit bowl. Write the commentary of the recipe as you go along, ladies. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've never had one of these. How do they taste? These taste like a combination of a melon <clears throat> and a kiwi and an apple. It's really delicious. I'm so glad that you are seeing this. Kelly says, uh, I buy... Uh, frozen dragon fruit in individual packages by the case makes great bowls or smoothies. Oh my gosh, Kelly, you have the, you have the lowdown on where to get all these amazing things. Hi, everybody says Judith. Hi, Judith. I'm so glad that you are here, honey. How are you? I know I'm so not even talking about um, the topic of at hand as yet in the title, this diet is wrecking my skin or this diet is wrecking my teeth. I hear that so many times. I heard that uh, this diet is wrecking my skin. Remember this morning we were talking about Linda, Linda, who was in the um, one of the groups and she posted a question. And I was talking about how I, I highly recommend that anytime you see anybody posting a question, all right, this was Linda's, right? that please refer them to the detox 101 class because it will really, really, really help them understand those detox symptoms. And part one of the comments on that post was, oh yeah, this diet wrecked my skin. So you should definitely, you know, whatever. It's not the diet that's wrecking your skin. No, the fruits are not wrecking your skin, nor are they giving you cavities. Absolutely not. In fact, we have a dentist in our area uh, that Dali's, uh, one of Dali's uh, friends at work went to a dentist. Now he knows that Dali has been drinking watermelon juice exclusively since the summer. And he, he said he was at the dentist and his dentist said that he should drink more fruit to help his oral health or something to that effect. I can't remember exactly how it went, but uh, his buddy said that he laughed because he knew that Dali was all about the fruits. Or I think they were, I don't know what they were talking about. Something to do with, with eating fruit, eat more fruit, that he should eat watermelon. I don't know why. Like, look at this, you guys, holy shit. What an abundant life I live. Look at this. Look at what I have access to. Look at how magical my life is right now. Are you seeing this? You're not seeing that. I'm trying to set it up for a shot with, with my cam. Look. 
look at that. Let's get some more mango in here. I'm just making some some fruits to put on top of our of our chia pudding. Our freaking amazing chia pudding. I mean, I've seen people doing chia pudding, but I haven't seen anybody do it blend with the fruit blended into it. Because I've been I've been looking. <laughs> How do you make chia pudding? How do you do those smoothie bowls? I mean, I'm sure there are people who have said to do exactly what I'm doing. And it's like, yeah, Burns, like, yeah, it's nice to see you've crawled out from under your rock. I'm like, I know I live under a rock sometimes. You make what kind of bowls? How do you do it? Hilarity ensues. Hilarious, hilarious. But yeah, look at this. Look at this freaking dragon fruit, you guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. There goes my shot. <laughs> it's got the consistency of a kiwi, but not that strong. You know how kiwis can sometimes be really strong on your tongue? It's much milder in flavor than a kiwi, for sure. It's got a mild sweetness to it, and the seeds are really cool. It's frigging beautiful. Look at that, pink, black, and white. Like, where, where else can you find a fruit that is pink, black, and white? Well... I'm sure there are lots of places, but like, holy crap, this is so much fun. So we're going to chop some of this dragon fruit up. <clears throat> Danielle, oh my gosh. Hi, babe. How are you? I was just thinking about you when I, <clears throat> when I was just talking about these fruit bowls. I'm thinking, my God, Danielle loves her fruit bowls and it's like i've never made one so here we are danielle you were in my mind even before you said you dropped in with your hello i love you babe how are you how you doing how you doing we've been talking about preparedness planning danielle we've been talking about what to put in our raw vegan freezers i started freezing I started freezing my fruit pulp. You know how I was always throwing it in the compost. I started freezing the pulp and that's what, what, what I'm making here. I don't know if you saw it earlier. I don't know when you tuned in. Where's the center of my goddamn camera? Come on, come on, buddy. Right here. Oops, it's alive. Yeah, and I was just thinking about you. It's like, no, Danielle loves fruit bowls and I've, I've never made one. So now it's like, Ooh, and what about if we did the chia seed pudding at the same time? Hello. Hello. Look at that. And yes, we need to get some more mango on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Magnificent. The magnificent chia pudding. Sharon Peach is in the house. Listen, Sharon Peach has raised some pretty uh, awoke young men. Sharon, your son, John, posted that uh, post in the groups about indexing that he indexed and, and, and organized some of Dr. Morse's um, YouTube videos under, <coughs> excuse me, for the content. I was like, oh my God, that is John Matthews. Sharon was just telling me that that is her son. Well done, babe. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing when we look back and see that our children are like woke as fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's uh that is a sign of 
something well done, I think. Both my girls are pretty woke. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so we've got some mango. We've got some chia. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save this for later. This is kind of not the greatest shape around here, but that's okay. Mm, 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 mm. Puff the magic dragon fruit. <laughs> Daphne reload on YouTube is something else. I started following her just to hear the stuff she is saying. Ooh. Let me go and look that up. Um, let me get my YouTube app up. Let me wash my hands. So to this, I am I'm going to add some raisins because you know I gotta watch the cats are probably gonna come running thinking, oh my god, treats. Okay, they have not come running, which is good. Got some beautiful raisins because raisins is something that you can have in your preparedness pantry as well right yes you can i'm going to put some pumpkin seeds on now and then i think we're going to move over to the uh the eating island we're going to sit and we're going to have a little chat <laughs> if you want you want to hang out with me Do ya? You couldn't find that post? Hmm. <laughs> you're growing them, Kristen? Yeah, Kristen, your garden, girl. Your garden is absolutely divine. I think we should add a little bit of, of, of coconut, don't you think? Coconut, where are you? See, I, I don't know if these are, are the, the good coconut flakes or not. I don't know. Um, look what I found. What is that doing all the way back in here? Really? All the way down in there? <sighs> At least I found it, right? Okay, I've got some coconut flakes, but I don't know. They could potentially be sweetened with something. I can't remember. That is really a hot mess right now, but I don't care. It's going to taste delicious. And I'm going to put a little drizzle of maple syrup on top of that. 
Yes, I am, because I am so extra. I am extra, and I feel like having something super decadent. I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of pure Canadian maple syrup. Because if you're going to have something, make it alkaline and make it good and make it delicious. And if you're going to have a little cheat, make it with a little maple or a lot of maple syrup. Am I right? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Let's taste this, shall we? Let us have a dip. These are good, especially the ones with the red inside. Really? Hey, Denny, how you doing? LOL, Alana. LOL, Alana. Adding more. No. And yes. <laughs> it's true. No, don't add anything else. Okay. Add some, okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. No, don't add anything else. <laughs> I just eat dragon fruit, just ate dragon fruit a couple weeks ago. And for the first time, it was red inside and tasted delicious. Yeah, that's what Denny was just saying. Mm hmm. Louise says, hi. Hey, Louise. Hi, Jen. Jen. Gwen says, it costs $5.99 for a pound. I paid $15 last week for two of them. For two dragon fruit, you paid $15? Those... How big were they? Yeah, they're heavy, right? I bought this, two of these delicious, um, let me see, how do you say it again? <laughs> I'm determined to get this right. A tolfi? A tulfo. A tulfo pina, um, uh, mangoes. To, uh, three of these and uh, one of these mangoes for for two doll hairs and fifty cents. Two fifty. I'm ready to dig in. I want to dig in right here because it's going to take me a while to move over there. I want to taste this right now. It's going to take me a minute to move my setup. You guys know this. You knows this. But I do want to run through the topic that I have posted in the comment, in the, in the uh, title of this video. This diet is wrecking my skin and my teeth. No, it's not. Your acid in the body is what has wrecked your teeth. The, the fruits have just enabled your body to start releasing the acid out of your cells so that it can be flushed away through the lymphatic system. So get your kidneys open. Keep getting your kidneys open. And this acid experience you're feeling in your teeth and your skin and your fill in the blank will go away. How quickly? I don't know. It depends on how lymphatically challenged you are, you know, but it will go away. It's not that the fruit is wrecking your teeth. Oh, I, that fruit wrecked my teeth. I've heard that not from you, Sahar. I've heard that from other people. You know that this is just a detox symptom, Sahar. You, you, you got this, you know, that doesn't make it any less uncomfortable but you know what's what's really causing it and it's not the it's not that the fruits are causing it is that the fruits are helping your body heal and part of the healing process is that if you have garbage stuck in your cells 
we talked about this in this morning's class. If you have garbage stuck in your cells, how is that going to get pushed out of you and flushed out? But by fruits, melons, and berries, baby, and by um, you doing the work to get your kidneys open. Because as that stuff gets purged out of the cells, because finally now the lymphatic fluid around each cell is moving and it can get eliminated out. And now the cell can go, oh, finally I can take a dump. Let me dump out this toxic stuff. As that toxic stuff gets dumped out, you you want your kidneys opened, your kidneys opened up so that they're they're excreting all of that through the kidneys efficiently. So you want to support your kidneys as you're doing this. And you might experience some, some cleansing effects of that. One of the cleansing effects is that if it can't get out through your kidneys fast enough and efficiently enough, it is going to come out through the skin, come out through the mucosa lining, come out through, uh, you know, your conditioning worsening. It, and all of these cleansing effects are le pointing to the fact that you are indeed healing your body because how else are you going to get rid of it except that it's purged out of the cells as you stir up that lymphatic stagnation and as these cells start to move out the toxins that have been stored in them because your entire system is constipated head to toe as that starts moving and starts getting out of the body you start experiencing some discomfort because that shit hurts. Okay. We know this, that hurts. So the, the job is not to say, Oh, the fruits made me sick. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, babe, you're wrong. You're just misinformed. You just didn't know. And that's why I was in that group. And I was saying, Hey, listen, you need to come and, uh, you know, heal the body. You need to come and listen to Detox 101, uh, my masterclass in the description below and above. You need to come and learn about the cleansing effects that are normal when you go through detox. I, I When I go, when I switch my camera over to here in a minute, after I just take a quick bite and I will put you guys on to, look at that. Look at this. I'll put you, I should take a photo of that before I do anything else. Shut up shut up mm. oh shit that was some good shit mm. i'm just staging this whole this shot <laughs> Mm. I want to slice this a little bit. So as you are cleaning out the body, you're going to feel it. And it all depends how much you feel all depends on how much damage you have put into your body. If you have, if you've done a lot of, of damage to your body, It's going to take a while. And it's not that, oh, I didn't do this to myself. I was born with this. Okay. It was going to take a while for you to clean out how much damage your parents gave to you in crappy genetic material, but whichever way you look at it. And then all of the lifestyle that you led on top of that really crappy genetic material, it's going to take a while longer for some people. It's going to take longer for some people than other people. And that is just your, your path. That is just what you came here to experience. You, that's, you agreed to this before you came. You, yes, you and me. I agreed to going through this nine years of cancer. I agreed to all of it before I got here. I agreed. I knew that I was coming and I was going to have an awakening a d many dark nights of the soul necessary for my awakening. I knew that that was all coming and I agreed to it. I was like, yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. I came to live a big, bold, electric, exciting, dynamic, diverse life full of highs and full of lows because that's what makes it fun. 
and the evolution that you have that you that you naturally go through the natural evolution that happens because of the ups as well as the downs is what makes life fun you do not want a boring life you do not want a feathered bed you don't you think you do because you're so damn tired of the bed that you have but you do not want a feathered bed you do not want a perfect life there is no such thing anyhow you came for the ride, baby. You came for the ride. And for some of us right now, we are experiencing a hell of a ride. We, we came, we came to, we came for this. This is why we came. We came to learn. We came to grow. We came to experience all of it. The ups, the downs, the heartache, the heartbreak, the growth that we get because of the heartache and the heartbreak. What, what, oh, I'm getting full on goosebumps for you, babe. Yes, for you. You came to experience this, all of it. Don't begrudge it. Don't, don't bitch and moan and don't say, fuck cancer, fuck cancer. No, babe. Cancer, this whole experience has been the biggest gift, priceless gift that I could, wh wh where do you get this kind of gift where you get to have these deep, realizations and this deep growth. I know you're ready for a small feather bed, babe. You've been through it. No shit. But we didn't come here for a feathered bed. And, you know, you, you'll get your feathered bed. <laughs> you're working on it. You're working on it. You're doing the only thing that makes sense to work on that feathered bed. And in the meantime, you know, I'm no feathered bed, but this is a soft place to land. You know what I'm saying? This is a soft place for you to land. This is a soft place for me to land. This is a soft place for my girls to land. Yesterday, Kaya sat on that couch for much of the class and she listened to me tell my story. Mm. What do you pay for, for that? You know? There's not enough money in the world to, to say, oh, this is what I want. Oh, I'll, I'll, this is how much I'll pay. That has been a long time in the making, my, my story and her own evolution. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Okay, I want to take a picture of this before I taste it. That's just a little taste. If any of you are new to, to watching this, that's just a little taste of kind of what we do here. We do a little spiritual riffing from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Wait until it's super soft, like softer than you think it should be. You won't be sorry. Oh, Danielle, that was beautiful. That's so true. Oh, you guys, I'm feeling all the feels. Yes, my shirt does match the dragon fruit. That is so cool. Danielle, that is so deep, baby. You will have a super soft, like softer than you think it should be, feather bed, Cindy. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and all of you, and all of us. You won't be sorry for the journey that it took you to get there. Trust me. And trust Danielle. She's been on her incredible path of awakening and her journey through so much. And uh, like you guys know, Danielle, or ethereal, material. I love your, your YouTube name, babe. Let me take a quick picture of this so I can get to eating. Your, your profile name is everything, man. Get a little bit of my grapefruit juice in the shot there too. Oh, except it's not filled up. That's okay. Let's do it this way for the gram. Let's hear it for the gram. but I need one this way for, for the thumbnail. Let 
There we go. Okay. We're ready to go. Danielle Ethereal Material is my good friend who I first met at the Dr. Joe um, workshops. We were in the same group in Cancun together. Danielle, that was this week, two years ago, babe. Yes, it was. And um, I had laughing so hard because my comment was totally on point, but I was talking about fruit. Oh my God, babe. I didn't know because I, I just went to the bottom to check on the comments and I saw you here and I did not, I didn't even see what you were talking about. <coughs> but you see how everything is connected. Everything is connected. Your comment about the fruit gave me a little, you know, I was like, pull it together, Burns. You don't need to be, don't be crying right now. We got shit to do. I got to take a picture of this fruit. I've taken a picture and now I'm going to take a taste with you guys all here. Let's dig in. Wait, I need my good spoon. I need my good spoon, my wooden spoon, baby. Look at how sexy that spoon is. Look at the lines on that girl. Let's have a little taste, shall we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, babe, have fun. This is so good, you guys. Mm. <laughs> you made your YouTube name in 2007. So Danielle and I met at the Dr. Joe meditation retreat, advanced retreat, seven day advanced meditation workshop retreat in Cancun. That was the one I keep talking about and saying, yes, it was two years ago. This is so good. I do wish I had put in a little bit of pineapple juice, but then I have to remember I'm working and trying out recipes for if we don't have fresh pineapples in the future. I don't know. It could happen. Shit can happen, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's hear it for the boys. You're like me. I sing lyrics all day and make up my own. I do. And I'm aware that I'm really tone deaf. Like I cannot sing well. I can sing, but not well. Mm. That is really yummy. Hello, Rockstar Ruiz. How are you? So nice to see you here, my friend. It is a meal. It's a big meal. And it's decadent and it's delicious. And it's like alive. And it's stuff that we can have in our preparedness pantry. As long as we start filling that pantry up now. So don't be like me. Don't be throwing away your pulp anymore. The old me. This is pineapple pulp from juicing some pineapple yesterday and orange pulp and a fresh mango, but you can chop up some mangoes now, put it in the freezer so you always, ha always have it. Mm. Coconut milk. And um, 
some maple syrup and a little bit of salt. It's so good, you guys. Mm. Oh, I really like that mango side a lot. <laughs> and then I topped it with some raisins and sunflower seeds and a little bit of shredded coconut, some mango and some dragon fruit. Mm hmm. Hmm. Burns, I'm finally down a full 50 pounds and it's taken five weeks to drop the last five pounds since I started eating food again. Oh my God. Yes, Danielle, that is amazing. Holy shit. You have been, you have been rocking this out. Sorry. I'm so blown away by this that I'm, I'm aware that I'm in the middle of a story, but I just like, Mm hmm. This is so good. So Danielle saw me talking about my juicing thing when I did my big share on it on 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 Facebook on a Facebook Live, and it's in my it's in my playlist on the noon class playlist in the description. And it had, it's the first one. So it's at the very bottom. It's the first upload. So the first upload in a playlist, I have it set to, to be the, the most recent one is at the top. So the oldest one is at the bottom. So if you go and check that out, that was the one when da where Danielle was like, oh my God, she had never really seen or um, stuff that I was putting out really until that day, really. And she happened to catch me talking about this and sharing my story, <laughs> right? What did I make you laugh at? <laughs> at the bell? I got my classroom bell, guys. I need it to ring the bell every now and then. And she said, oh my God, you need to contact, I need to, I need, I need your help. I need to, I need to have you as my detox coach. And I was like, okay, this is my first ever client. And she's just saying now that she's finally down to her full 50 pounds, 50 pounds. She's dropped 50 pounds in what I'm at 190. So you're at 160 days, 164 days. You are amazing. You know how much you love. No. Yes. Now I know how much. I know how much I love it. You know how much I love it because you've been having these. What are some of your favorite blends, Danielle? You, you do these a lot. I've, I have busted out a little bit of you can ring Matt. And then I stop there because I don't want to get <laughs> copyright struck. Even if you sing a song past like two seconds, you will get copyright struck on your video, which means they can delete your video. YouTube, YouTube means that you won't be monetized for, for any time on that video. I'm almost at monetization, babe. Can you believe that? Mm. I'm going to scroll back up because I know I missed some conversation. Oh, yeah, I was going into YouTube to find out where is that comment?
Daphne Reload. <laughs> then I got to putting the batteries in my in my keyboard and I put the keyboard over here and then I got into everything else and I forgot. Yeah. I'm all right. I'll be all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. So Daphne, D-A-P-H-N-E. Okay. What am I looking at here? Let's just play her video from yesterday. Okay, she's a commentary channel. All right, all right, all right. I will check her out. <clears throat> Are you follow? I started following her just to hear the stuff she is saying, and then you gave me the shocked eyes. Okay, I can't wait to 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 go and listen. Mm. Gabriella said, I went to the dentist Tuesday for a cleaning. She at the end with everything. She said at the end, everything looks fine. So I said, great, because I've been brushing with a, with a mix of coconut oil, baking soda, and essential oil of peppermint. She said, okay, but you need fluoride, LOL. I was just like, okay, okay. Oh, fluoride. Let's just keep on shutting down our pineal gland. And in her defense, that is just what she has been taught. And that's what we've all been taught. Mm -hmm. So Gabriella knows that today I was out and I was showing, oh, let me show it. Let me go find the toothpaste that I got in reference to that comment. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not sure I like as much coconut milk as I used, guys. I'm not sure about this at all. I think I need to remake this. I do. Kyle would not eat that. I know that for a fact. So let's revise that recipe, please. This is not the recipe I want you to try. It's not too much coconut milk. And it has an aftertaste like vomit. I'm sorry. It does. Not what I'm eating right now because I scraped off the top. But I once made this thing with coconut and Kaya was like, I was like, what's, the, what is it? And she's like, it tastes like vomit. I was like, no. No, I tasted it and I was like, you're absolutely right. It does. <laughs> I didn't use this um, coconut milk. I know that. I did not use that. But it was coke. There was coconut in it. It was the coconut meat. And sometimes, if you use too much of it, it goes from tasting like coconut to tasting like vomit. Fuck. These mangoes. I'm going to say I'm. I'm eating it, and I'm. I'm like, would Kaya eat it? And I was like, damn, she wouldn't. And there's almost a bitterness to it. That might be the clementines. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, shoot. I remember what it was now. It was the pineapple with the coconut. That doesn't make sense, though, because how would you make a pina colada taste good if coconut and pineapple? It was, it was, I think it was a combination of, of, of fresh pineapple and... I'm just going to eat the mango off of here. Don't, I don't like that recipe, you guys. Mm -mm. I'm just eating the mango off the top. I'm trying to remember what recipe that was. Mm, toothpaste. We're talking about toothpaste. So I get this activated charcoal toothpaste. Because it has no fluoride in it. SLS free, although I don't know what SLS means or refers to, but I like it because it doesn't have any fluoride. And it has got, um, it's dye free, no artificial flavors. And it's got essential oils in it as well. So that's the one that I use. And since I started using this, I have had no tooth sensitivity, gum sensitivity. I have also really sensitive teeth in themselves, like the enamel itself. And since I started using this, this is not a paid advertisement. I just want to show you what I use in case you're looking, but you can mix your own coconut oil, baking soda, essential oil of peppermint. You can do that. But you know, I'm going bougie on the toothpaste. All right. I don't want to make my own. Not to say that I wouldn't later on. But um, I'm just haven't done that yet for whatever reason. Mm. And it can't be the coconut milk itself because I love coconut milk. See, I really like that. And this does not have that kind of aftertaste. I think it was mixing it with the pineapple. How could that be? Help me, guys. Help. Help me. I think I'm falling right on my face. Red and ye le yellow dragon fruit, so much sweeter than white. Burns has a matching shirt for white dragons. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that is very expensive, Gwen. Yes, I know they get you out of bed. Danielle, give me some help. You know you can dehydrate the skin of dragon fruit, blend it up as a powder. It tastes amazing. I did not know that, girl. Thank you. I will do that. I will do that. Blueberries would look good and bananas. Yes, they would. It would add a little pop of color, a little contrast and flavor. <clears throat> add some coconut flakes and a bit of honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like You like the split cam? It's pretty cool, right? Imagine if she finds your channel. Damn, she'd have a field day. Why? Tell me why. Why won't she have a field day? We're talking about um, Daphne Reloaded. Why would she have a field day? You got to give me the goods. Give me the, give me the tea. Spill it. Oh, that's okay. Louise Louise says, Burns, I haven't been participating as much lately. I've been a bit busier here, but I catch parts of you on replay and your live feed. I love you and appreciate you. New 
instrumental track en route soon. Ooh, baby. Yes. Uh, thank you. Drizzle with honey for looks. Right, 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 right. You can use coconut nectar for sweetener if you don't like honey. True and true and true indeed. Judith, what do you find? Have you ever found this phenomenon where it has a, an aftertaste? Because I know you're in the coconut, the young Thai coconut business. You're rocking your business with that. What am I doing wrong? What caused that, that aftertaste? Thank you. Kept, kept me busy during lockdown. Your bowl looks delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And now you get to harvest all of those beautiful veggies from that. That is so awesome. Yes, I found it. My God, my, 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 my strainer. Last night, it was like, oh my God, where is my fucking strainer? I was losing my shit big time. But I found it under, inside, and down below, jammed in with my with my my um my nuts and seeds and it was jammed in with my nuts that's funny um and seeds oh i'm gonna have some of this i'm i'm not a hundred percent sold on the recipe for that no i'm not i gotta figure something out <laughs> I have a slice, I have to slice banana in my smoothie bowls. And yes, honey drizzle is good. As I have cacao nibs and I have buckwheat hulls and I have no more sam seeds and cocoa powder is good too. Okay, good to know. It's a great strainer, isn't it? It's like 10 bucks. I'm like 10 bucks for a strainer, really? All right, <laughs> best thing I've ever bought for the kitchen. Not true, but one of the best things I've ever bought. For about seven bucks here for those dragon fruit. Holy crap. I think the most I've seen them go for is like two dollars each, maybe two fifty. Mm-hmm. Kristen said, Wow, I wish prices here were that cheap here. Most of this can be grown in Florida, and we still pay, pay premium. That's why I grow my own things. Wow. Yes, Kristen is in Florida. Miami, right, Kristen? Kristen and um, Kelly live close by. Have you guys met up as yet? Have you planned anything? My lady's down south of the border. Naples, Florida. There you go. Oh, you're in Florida right now. Right now in Florida, my favorite fruit is about to be ready and ripe. Have you ever had black? You're not in Florida, but right now in Florida, your favorite. Yeah. Black sapote. It's like sapote. It's like chocolate pudding. Delicious. Ooh, that sounds exotic. So Kristen says, Burns, is this why I break out in candida rash when I eat certain fruits? I usually avoid them when this happens. Should I keep eating them? The rashes are painful. Back off of them. If you find that you have certain fruit that you, it's a really, it's a cleansing effect, right? But if it's too much of a cleansing effect, then pull back. Remember, know when to pull back. And I would also look into doing Dr. Morse's Parasite, uh, Parasite G. Is it Parasite G? Which one is it again, Danielle? Parasite G for um, Candida and yeast. No, Parasite M. I'm drawing a blank. Give me a minute. Not there. Not there either. Crap, where is it? I need to go to my... 
Danielle, help me out so I don't have to look at my iPad. <laughs> parasite M and Parasite G are going to clean you out for your candida, your yeast, as well as your parasites. And I believe Parasite M microbial is for like the yeast and candida. Parasite G, the general, is for your parasites to pull those out like your bowels, like your, your worms and your ringworms, your tapeworms, all those kind of things. Your liver worms, all of that. So yeah, so if your rashes are painful, then I would I would be avoiding them. Whatever fruits are going to make that condition feel more aggravated. And then you want to take care of the candida itself, right? Now the fruits are helping to clean out the candida, but part of that reaction is being experienced. So you just might want to pull back on, on certain vegetable fruits that are too astringent for you. I took a picture of it on my other phone. Yes, I did. I will show you. It looks beautiful, but I'm not happy with the pudding part. Not happy. I still have to run this through a filter, but. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it to focus. I know that's always a tricky thing, but yes, I did took, I did take a couple of pictures and then I took a vertical one for the gram. Which I will pop on a little clarity filter so that it pops a little bit. Yes, I was going to move over to the other counter, but I'm like, I, don't, I, I can't be bothered. It's a pain in the ass to do that, to be honest with you. A real big pain in the ass. So I figured let's just stay right here and chat, shall we? Chat and eat. So, yeah, you got to try those, Kristen, for sure. Where am I? Where am I? Parasite M. Yeah, so Parasite M for um, for Candida. I know. I know. But I, I had to be honest because, you know, I'm going to critique my thing like, like a stranger would. My dentist has fluoride free options, uh, even for tooth cleaning. That is good. Quinoa is a seed, so it's not a grain in that sense. It is a, it's alkaline. You can get it in the form of a flake. You can get it in the form of the seed itself. You can get it in the form of a, um, uh, flakes. So it, it comes all those different ways. Oh, she's pissed off at vegans and the world. Okay, okay. That's what I thought when I looked at it. I was like, what am I looking at here? I like to blend a couple frozen, <coughs> excuse me, baby bananas, seven frozen strawberries, a handful or two of blo frozen blueberries, uh, top with sliced mushroom, uh, sliced mushrooms. <laughs> Top, top, topped with some magic mushrooms, uh, sliced fresh banana, berries, hemp seeds, honey drizzle, or maple syrup, cacao nibs. Ooh, baby, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. You know, I really don't focus on, on, on these kind of channels, and I wouldn't if I were you. Even if it's just to see out of, for, to hum, out of, humor or whatever. If I'm going to watch something on YouTube, you better be uplifting me. You better be praising somebody or else I'm out. I can't do it. Even for entertainment value, it lowers. Be very careful with your vibration. Don't let other people lower your vibration. All right. And, and by watching out of 
just out of for entertainment value. I notice it in myself. I have a few different uh, people that I I subscribe to on on <coughs> excuse me on YouTube, and they're very cantankerous. You know, they're very cranky, and they're very um, critical of other people. Be very. I would uh, and. You know, I started watching them when I was bored and at home and when things weren't going that positively in my life. And I was resonating in that energy of, of, of I don't know, critical bitterness. And I, I realized I was starting to really, oh, I was watching too much of it. And when that energy and that vibration is on repeat in your head, and in your space, you have to be very careful of programming and the the way that we are programmed and the way that that the the mind is programmed to run in a certain groove. So what we watch on YouTube is really, really, really important. You want to be very selective about the energy that you're putting into your consciousness, especially when you're in lull in you're in a you're lulled into a state of deep relaxation when you watch these things, right? And that's why I'm very careful about my energy that I put out when I'm doing this, because I know that some of you have been watching for like two hours and you, you get into your brain waves, go into a very relaxed state. And when that happens, the door between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, that veil, that, that sheet that's between the, the conscious mind, the thinking mind and the subconscious mind, which is really running the whole show, our subconscious mind really takes what's 95 percent of the game only five percent is the thinking brain so what's happening in the sub on the subconscious level that we're not aware of it's sub below our level of consciousness we affect that subconscious level um we we affect that by listening to stuff at a at a certain brainwave level you know what i mean so when you're in a really deep state of relaxation, as you would get, even when watching some of those, you know, critique channels, uh, the, the energy and the vibration of what they're putting out affects you on a very subconscious level. You don't realize it. And then, and then you find that you can't breathe. And then you find that you can't meditate. And meditation makes you feel pissed off yourself. You feel more irritated. You feel like I can't breathe. Oh my God. As soon as I hear the word meditation, I feel like I can't breathe. Right. Because you're so agitated by these. We have to be careful. I'm telling you, I'm very selective, sometimes not so selective. And I, then I see how my life changes and how well, what you listen to and what you watch is extremely important. So if you have somebody, people to, to, to look at, to put your attention on, I would very much recommend that you put your focus and your attention on anything that uplifts you, anything that is high vibing, anything that is, you know, stuff like the infinite waters. I love watching him. Uh, he, he has a, a, an energy that even if you watch that when you're half asleep, you're going to feel like love, right? Don't watch stuff that makes you feel like hate that's coming from hate and jealousy and anger. Don't watch that because that infiltrates your energetic field. This is for real, guys. Maybe it's the pith from the orange peel that's throwing it off. That could be it too. Yes. I'm so trying to remember what it is I made. I think it was the coconut wraps. I think I made, I made wraps once. Yes, I made wraps and I used coconut meat in the wraps. Now, <clears throat> if I make a wrap with just coconut meat, it won't taste funky like that. Interesting. Hey, let's make some chia pudding with just the coconut milk because we know that I like the coconut milk. And... Uh, we know that in our preparedness pantry, we're going to be able to have chia seeds. So let's get some of that. Because I kind of feel like I need something to make up for that flop.
did you guys get a chance as yet to watch um, Dr. Morris's new video? Dr. Morris dropped a new video. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Dr. Morris dropped a new video this week. And it's really, really good. You guys got to go watch it. One of the things I loved, I loved his spiritual riffing. You know I love that. You know I love that shit. And he was talking about how last year in December, he said that 2020 would be the year of cleaning, the cleansing year. And that 2021 will be the year of truth. And I was like, damn, preach, man. Let's hear it. Let's go. So I thought that that was really interesting. So go and watch that if you haven't seen it as yet. Because we really need to come into uh, truth, more truth. Shit, look at me. Ah, Bernadette. I brought out a three-quarter cup measuring cup so that I didn't have to do what I'm about to do now, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, Burns. I wanted a dry measuring cup. I wanted a dry cup. I also have uh, quinoa sprouts over here. And I wouldn't mind whipping up some quinoa crackers, but I'm kind of not feeling like doing all of that, you know? It's, it's been, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, shit, is it almost 4.30? Kaya needed me this afternoon. She called me, she FaceTimed me as I walked in the door after my slightly, a little bit delayed um, uh, day today because I... I just got three quarters of a cup of coconut milk and a quarter of a cup of chia seeds with about two or three tablespoons of uh, maple syrup. And I'm just going to mix that around and that is going to gel up. Whoa, easy. Take it easy. I almost knocked over the whole bag of chia seeds. Um, so I, I was delayed starting class today for two hours. Plus I had a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with a client a one-on-one -on -one client and um oh my god there we go and so i was late uh getting on here today so i'm like i i can see i've only i've been broadcasting only i've only been on for two hours i've only been on for two hours right but i look up at the clock here and i'm like whoa oh yeah it's getting dark it's starting to get dark So we're just going to let that set up. And I will chop up some of this mango because I do love that mango. I'm just gonna set that to the side. So yes, there's so much, uh, it feels so good to be in beautiful service throughout my day, you know? I like that. But I did just realize, well, it's almost 4.30. It's Friday night, you guys. It's Friday night and you're hanging out with Burns in my kitchen. Such a lucky girl. I'm such a lucky girl. some extreme cleaning cleaning as I go so that I don't have a big mess to deal with after class it's Friday do you guys have any plans for tonight what are you up to
Oops, get in there. Yeah, so I have these buckwheat groats that I could totally make into Ivar, Ivar crackers. Oh, I should do that. I should do that. Okay, okay. How are you doing? Yes, yeah, so G is for the worms and squiggly things. Yes, parasites. M is for yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched your stories. Hi, Stacy. How are you? I love your profile picture, by the way. Uh, you're so cute running around Walmart, picking up and stocking up on everything like 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 a prepper. I'm, I am a prepper. I realize I'm a prepper. How did you even get into Walmart without the mask tyrants in our, without the mask tyrants in your face? Keep prepping, babe. Um, I just, I, I'm aware of what the bylaw exemption says, and so are they. I'm, I'm aware of my rights to not wear a mask. And I used to get, in the beginning, oh, it didn't, it wasn't that easy to walk in there. I, I would... It was, they were ignorant about the bylaw exemption and I had to educate a lot of them and I did. How do I do it? I remember who I am. I'm a free being that doesn't have to be, be, be forced to, to do that. Now, if that were ever to change, if martial law came into place and I was taken off the threat was real that I could would actually be arrested, then I would either not go there or if I went there, I'd put on a fucking mask. But that's not the reality, and people don't realize that. The reality is, is there is a what's called an exemption to the bylaw that if you have a medical condition, that you are exempt from wearing the mask. So what I say when I go in, I say, thank you, I'm medically exempt, and I keep walking. You're not allowed under the Human Rights Code to ask. A, a, a store is not under the Human Rights Code. I'm protected from not having to disclose what my medical condition is that precludes me from wearing a mask. I do not have to give that information as part of the Human Rights Code. It's a violation of human rights, and every store owner has all of this information, too. I went to the same website that they store owners were required to, to go to, to be educated around this. So I'm aware of my rights and I'm, I'm, I'm a bold motherfucker and I'm not going to wear a mask. Uh, so <laughs> did you see when I was talking to the guy, I didn't have him on camera cause I didn't want his identity to be revealed, but he wasn't wearing a mask either. And I looked up and I was like, Oh, <laughs> nice. You're not wearing one of those either. And he's like, yeah. I said, I said, thank you for not wearing a mask. He said, you're welcome. Thank you for not wearing a mask. I said, you're welcome. Very rare to see other people doing this. Mm. Okay. Now that is my jam. That is my jam. Oh, baby. No aftertaste, beautiful, full coconut flavor. So that was just three quarters of a cup of coconut milk, a quarter of a cup of chia seeds. In a few minutes, look, it's starting to gel up already. Now you can put this into a container in the in the fridge. Oh my God. Mm. And a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm doing the happy dance. Oh, baby.
amino acid rich nutrient dense beautiful beautiful plant fats oh my god it has a texture like a million little bubble tea balls mm. Mm. that's what i'd be making that's what i'm gonna stock my cupboards with my pantry is gonna have a lot of that and a lot of chia seeds where did i put the chia seeds probably right in front of me yes they are a quarter cup of chia seeds i got these at dollarama a buck 50. i think that's a pretty good price for chia seeds if i'm not mistaken mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. So, yes, thank you. Just watch that lady, Daphne Reloaded. She's a miserable human being. <laughs> I don't know what you were referring to, but get some. What were we talking about, Kristen? I quit watching programs with too much negative being discussed over and over. Who needs that? Yeah, who needs that? Found a recipe for mango smoothie bowl. One and a half cups frozen mango chunks, one third cup almond milk or any other milk you like, third of a banana, adjust to taste, blend and, and top with toppings. Ooh, that sounds really good. I got to start getting more mangoes and start chopping those up and prepping those for the freezer. I wasn't focused at all. I was looking up Tani Ron. She came up. That's how I found her. And I followed her to see what she's talking about. She thinks spinach is what causes kidney stones. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No, don't be focused on her. Absolutely. I had to leave a lot of groups for my health. I feel God removed me from Facebook for a time off work on to for, to work on me more. Yep. Mm -hmm. The spinach issue comes up because of oxalates and oxalates are thought to cause kidney stones. Well, what causes kidney stones is uh, acidosis protein oxalates. Okay. Whatever. That's why I love Tani Ross. She never speaks negatively about anyone. She says, everyone is on their own path and we have no judge, to, no right to judge. True. Can you say again what I need to adjust the recipe, please? I'm sorry. You need to adjust the recipe and not write it. <laughs> Something is combining with the coconut milk to make it taste, have a horrible aftertaste. It might be the pineapple. It might be the... Uh, the orange pulp, but either way, I took out both of those things and I just remade it with just um, coconut milk, maple syrup, and chia seeds. So that's how I would adjust it. I don't know if I'm going to be a fan of the pineapple pulp. I don't know. I think as my prep work, what I might do is I might prep and save like mango. I might, um, uh, banana. I bought a whole, bu whole bunch more of banana. I might do that. But even that, I'm kind of picky. When it comes to frozen banana, it's too something for my tongue. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I don't like the concentrated flavor. I know, Danielle, you use the, the, the small figs, the small uh, bananas, the baby bananas. Mmm, it was good, eh, Sharon? Watching Dr. Morris on YouTube is better than anything on TV. Hands down, 100%. How many watch hours today? Oh, let me see. When I woke up, it was 3,700. But let's see if that has changed at all. Um, I'm working on getting monetized. You guys are helping me get monetized with all these amazing views. 
and I need 4,000 watch hours to be monetized and I'm at 3,714. So we have, we have just under 300 more watch hours to go. I think by the end of the weekend, or maybe not, the weekends are usually slower. Yeah, this is really good, you guys. This is some deliciousness right here. Mm. You know what I want to do? I'm not going to make those Ivar crackers right now, but what I do want to do is make some up, make up some little jars of this chia pudding. So we can have a little jar because I'm full. So I don't I don't want to eat anymore. My belly full. Doesn't take much to fill this little wee belly of mine. As you know, some of you might know, I had 90% of my stomach removed in 2011. when I was first diagnosed with gastrointestinal stromal tumor. Let me just scroll down here and make sure we're good with comments. Let me just check something here. I want to look up and see if Dr. Morris talks about this oxalate thing, because this is like the second time I've seen it come up recently and I just want to because somebody I saw somebody mention that in a post on beets and I'm like I've heard Dr. Morris recommend beets what are you talking about let's listen Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I hope this finds you well, and I uh, hope you're uh, enjoying the road to Wellville through the uh, 35. detoxification process. What a process, huh? You know, I mean, I, what this is. Uh, Fran gave me something about green and oxalates, and I'm, so I'm going to address that uh, on the oxalate side of that because people start freaking out about the green juices now and about full of uh, oxalates or oxalic acid. Well, oxalic acid is common amongst greens, you know, more so though they claim in the rhubarbs and the sorrels and that sort of thing. I, I don't know what to say about that other than you have to understand in chemistry, plants come with a lot of factors that by themselves can be problematic. Uh, such as alkaloids. Alkaloids is very commonly known to inspire liver function. Isolate them by themselves, and then you have, you know, more serious uh, side effects. And this is why you see them, of course, in pharmaceuticals, is when you start ac uh, isolating the active principles. So I just have to say that all of these acids have far-reaching effects Oxalic acid has a lot of things. I was just Googling some of this, and I don't know where this person gets this, but all things from... Uh, Excuse me, Amazon is here and they're 
next door and they're like where are you i'm like next door to the auto shop come on over hang on Those are my sprouting trays. So I was listening to the doctor to Dr. Morris talk about this. So he's got his uh, his antennas up on this as well, and uh, talking about isolates. So I'm waiting to hear the Amazon dude pull into my driveway here. Um, one cup of sprouted quinoa, maybe a splash of maple syrup, and half a cup. One cup, no, a quarter of a cup of chia seeds chia seeds, three quarters of a cup of coconut milk, and a splash of maple syrup. Let me see where this guy is. Hold on. Yay, my sprouting, my sprouting trays came in. And a little thingy for my camera thing over here. Totally missed what I said. So I hope you guys got that. Get those Burnsy burgers done. Yes. Uh, but the mesh mask on Amazon, they are breathable. Yeah, <clears throat> that's good. The mesh mask, that would be good. Um, I don't know what those look like. Let's try it. Let's check it out. Amazon. Let's see what these mesh masks are about. You know, it's not, it's not just, it's about what it symbolizes, right? I don't want to make, I want to, I don't want to have to wear a mask at all. Not even a mesh one. I am bold. I realize. I realize I am very bold faced. Like that's legit a, a mesh mask. And there and people are okay and stores are okay with you wearing a mesh mask. Just a lot as long as it's some kind of symbol that you're controllable. That's what this all is, right? I know not you, Danielle, but you know, I'm finally home. My phone's plugged in. You're on my Bluetooth. Let's do this. Let's go, Alana. The Mangotarian Marine has landed. Mangotarian Marine in the house. Hello, Emoji King. How are you? Yeah, thank thank uh Stacy says thanks. I love my bike too. Just put it away for the year. Waiting to ride next year. Yeah, it's a beautiful bike. Oh my gosh. I just don't go to Walmart. They have literally been in my face and I don't need to go to jail for punching someone. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <coughs> I don't wear masks, but they think they can bring uh, HIPAA laws and force me to, you know. I know it sucks, man. Totally. Totally sucks. It totally sucks. But here we are and spending our Friday evening together, Friday afternoon. How cool is this? I got 20 people in my house right now. That's all of you. And we're all hanging out together. We're all, listen, this is so cool. It's Friday. Alana, I added psyllium husk to my burgers yesterday. I think I added psyllium husk to, to the latest Burnsy burgers as well. They are so good. Oh my gosh. I want to peel this mango and I want to do a little mango chia pudding parfait in these little glass jars that I got. 
Now, this is the kind of thing that would be great for preparedness planning, right? Because you got your seeds, you got your you got your chia seeds, so you know you're getting a lot of really good quality nutrition there. You got your coconut milk, that's a really good plant-based milk, right? Some really good animal, uh, animal, some really good plant fats. So that's really good. Let me just switch this up so you guys can see what I'm doing with me. And then you have, oh, low battery. Oh, did I forget to plug that in? I did. I told, did forget to plug it in mine. Close. Okay, so let's have a look-see here. So when I peel a mango, I do it a couple different ways. It depends on what mood I'm in. For this one, I just peeled all the skin. Peel that right off, and then I'm gonna come and cut the face side down like so. And then I'm gonna cut the other side down like so. And then I'm going to, see? Easy, so easy. And then I'm going to go like so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's some goodness right there. I could go on, but for the sake of time and politeness, not that I care, but I'm just going to chop this up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that's good. That is so good, you guys. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the bottom of my jar. <laughs> I'm trying to line this up on here. Oh, the struggle. The struggle is real, y'all. Not really. Just kidding. I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> and then I'm going to do where's the where are those coconut flakes? Where did I put the coconut? It's Friday night. It's Friday night. I'm so excited. I don't know why. It feels like, I don't know why. Why am I so excited? Why am I so excited? I'm just feeling excited. I'm excited. Yes, God made me leave social media too. God is definitely working on a lot of us right now. Oh yeah, baby. It's the year of cleansing, according to Dr. Morse, right? 2020 and 2021. Oh, what a sweet picture of you, Emoji King. Look at you, you young, handsome devil, you. Young, handsome Marine, you. Yes, Dr. Morse posted a video yesterday. We were just talking about that. I'm going to put a little sprinkling of coconut right on there. And then I'm going to come in with the chia pudding and do some layers. Look at that. Oh, my good Lord, that is deliciousness right there. And then I'm going to go again. I'm going to get some mango in there. And I want it to kind of touch the sides, you know, so that it looks pretty on the on the outside of the jar. So make sure you kind of, you know, work it out so that the mango is mainly up towards the side, decorating the side of your jar so that it looks 
like you've got those beautiful, deep, delicious layers of fruit. And then you're just gonna come in and keep on repeating, it's super simple. This is just, you make these up for the kids, yourself, your hubby, your delicious lovers, and you want something decadent to eat, you know, so you know when you're finished dinner, you just want something, something, or just maybe for breakfast. Look at that. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so inspired. I hope you guys are going to make this. I want to put some raisins right about now too. Raisins are going to give it that nice chew, you know what I mean? Buy indiv individually uh, frozen fruit in the freezer section, prep work done. I know, I will, for sure. I will be doing that, definitely, especially the blueberries and the strawberries, yeah. Yes, the oxalates, but he is, I think he's about to say in here that it's when you isolate the os oxalates and take supplements, it's taking stuff in supplement form, supplemental, that's when you experience some of those um, uh, issues of stones. I'm pretty sure that's what he was about to talk about there. Pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I think so. Do you want to, let's listen to what he says, okay? A better sleep to reduce self-adhesive behavior, abusive behavior, increased imaginary play, improved cognizance, loss of bedwetting, loss of frequent urination, improved handwriting, improved motor skills, improved same. anemia. And this is all from oxalates. So it truly really depends upon, in my opinion, when you look at chemistry, this all is in all of chemistry, um, ionizes and oxidizes through the process of pH. pH is everything to how chemistry responds in solutions and how it changes its uh, electrons and how it either becomes an acid or a base at any given time. And so it's just so involved that I've never felt like going back getting all this out again and then cutting it so it's real simple for you. I want to try to do as much as I can, but again, I don't want to be sucked in that world either because uh, these worlds suck you into them and there's just too much uh, uncertainty and theories where one doesn't you know, quite understand how it all matches. I've looked at several of the theories and uh, we've had this discussion earlier on in terms of biochemists and their theories from reams to, you know, me to everyone else. So I quit having theories. I try to, to, to uh, teach you what I've observed and what I've seen and what we do know to be factual um, as much as I can. So with that said, uh, I know a lot of people are doing popping a lot of green juices. And now there's another movement, of course, to inform those of the oxalates and then getting the calcium oxalate stones, which is the common kidney stones. But you can, uh, oxalates binds with potassium, magnesium. I mean, the chemistry can bond to other uh, uh, minerals. just depends on the action and what's going on in the tissues and stuff. And that's why I say it all is involved in the pH of things. This is why I think it's so important. If you want to bring about a balance in a state of health, that you not get too trapped in this side of it, that you just eat the foods that are chemically in proportion the way God intended. Well, for your species. Well, to understand that, of course, is then to look at the different species out there and determine which one the Homo sapien looks like. Because I don't think it, in an argument that anybody could win the omnivore uh, uh, side of that because you could, you could claim the Homo sapien eats like one, but you can't say that he is one. You, you'd be closer if you said he was a frugivore uh, eating omnivore -ish. And we're crossing over to the, the greens. Now, I've never seen any horses or any animals with oxalate problems. 
Now you could get that if you were high grain feeding them and uh, you probably could then create these oxalate stones. Uh, but you would have to be creating an acidic environment, uh, an environment not what a wild horse would be like out in, out in the wild. So you, you, it's just one has to put all these things in context because when we fight, it's like licorice and uh, um, all, all these with the, uh, with the alkaloids in them that seem to be a little, you know, there's common alkaloids among plants. And so it's typical that pharmaceutical companies are going to bring up the issue knowing quite well that these plants are synergistically, chemically bound, and that it's them that have the problem, not us. But, all right, I don't want to rattle on too much, so some guy accused me of, uh, Dr. Moore says a lot of nothing sometimes, and he can talk for 15 to 20. <laughs> There's always somebody criticizing somebody, right? But anyhow, um, so that was that was kind of like what I thought. Like you, the yeah. I hope that was helpful. I'm in the kitchen. Get out of my way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, babe, we made this yesterday in class. Okay, Danielle, I saw you post this, and I'm like, oh, I got to get to that. I'm gonna make a couple more of these chia pudding. Um, chia puddings really is what it is and let's make some more so I'm, i used i'm gonna make um maybe two more batches so let's go another three quarter cups three quarter cups so we're gonna make two more of these um Danielle, we made that dressing yesterday in class, last night, yesterday afternoon, and it was so dang good. Dolly loved it. I loved it. I used the extra lemons. I actually used, um, you see, I did not use enough table, uh, enough garlic in the beginning. I used two cloves of garlic, but two tablespoons. That's more like, God, how many cloves of garlic would that be? That would be... like about six or eight. Um, it was so good. I didn't have any dill, but it was so delicious. Oh yeah, baby. I was eating it by the spoonful too. It's so good. Cindy said, exactly. I've seen the band at NFL football games have a cutout around the mouth and their masks so they can play instruments. What the fuck good is it to even wear it if it doesn't cover the mouth? Take it off and don't conform. Exactly. But that's, that's how we think, right? Your compliance is your consent. Your, com your, your compliance is your consent with this whole thing. So we need to understand that and be aware and wake up. Wakey, wakey. Where's my other bag of chia seeds? There it is. Where is my, where's my other bag of chia seeds? It's right here, girl. Calm down. Settle the F down. <laughs> right? Your compliance is your consent. If you comply with something, your freedom's being taken away. You comply with it, you're consenting to it. So just FYI. Let me watch my step, y'all. Let me watch my step, okay? I gotta be careful. Yes, in the kitchen. That's awesome. Get those Bernsey burgers done. I think it's the oscillates when they're cooked. I could be wrong. Well, I think what he is saying is it's not the oscillates issue at all. These medical and scientific researchers know that when you isolate uh, elements in a plant and then decide that that is what is going to, you're going to assume or say causes diseases, consider the source. Consider the source. That's like, that's like scientists or doctors saying, 
don't eat fruit. Fruit is bad for you. Consider the frigging source, man. Follow the money. Who benefits from that ultimately? Right? They're always trying to discredit what we do in the in the true health and healing arts because it's stealing away their money. Look at how many of us are not buying into that, that old um, paradigm anymore. So I'm just making here a, a double batch so that I can make up some more of these super cute chia jars, chia pudding jars. Look at how cute that is. It's cute and delicious. It is one sexy pudding, let me tell you. It is one sexy pudding. Yes, it is. Gosh, I saw a recipe for um, a chia pudding that's lemon. It had lemon um, zest in it. That tastes just like my mom's coconut ice cream, you guys. Oh, baby. <laughs> I kind of feel like I want to chop up some fruit into one and just add, you know, chopped, chopped mango, sort of that's going all through it. Then again, just having it just simple with some raisins, that would also be really good. I know Dali doesn't like raisins, but I don't even know if he's going to like these bowls, you know? I'll do one without raisins for him. Because I want him to enjoy it, and he might like it. If he doesn't like it, do you guys like chia pudding? Chia bowls. I think these are so amazing. You can also do some sliced and chopped up bananas in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do half with... Um, mm. Oh my God, it's so good! I'm going to do one with just lemon. I smell everything in case you didn't notice. It's a thing. This one I'm going to put some lemon rind in. Maybe I just put a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. So I'm using this uh, Madagascar bourbon vanilla paste. Ooh, you think it's the best ones you've made? Yeah, baby. How did you tweak it? Did you tweak the recipe at all? Or is it just, sometimes it just depends on, I don't know what, right? So just a little drizzle of vanilla bean. And that's it. I'm just going to make a pure chia pudding. Give it a little shake a -roo. That's going to be amazing. So this is what it looks like when it has sat for a bit. You see the, the little beads of deliciousness. This is what it looks like when it's just mixed up but it's the same ratio and the, the chia seeds are going to absorb all of the beautiful, delicious, luxurious, sexy, exquisite, exotic coconut milk. Oh my gosh. So it's gonna go from this to this. And um, yes, I wanted to do some lemon rind in one. So I'm just having so much fun with these. These are so good, you guys. You've got to try these. I mean, I know that you have. 
many of you. So into this one, I'm just going to add the chopped mango. And I'm going to stir it all about. And I'm going to add in some chopped banana. Not too much because I'm out of space, you know. So yeah, this is a great way to start your day. I, I much prefer this than, than honestly, than blending too much fruits. I really just like my fruits like whole. I don't know. But I'm adding fruit into here. Not a huge amount of fruit. But, you know, just enough. Just enough to make it fruity. Just enough to make it a little fruity. And now this technique is very important. With the back of a spoon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, just with anything you want to stick down in there. Just stir it around. Stir it around till it all gets incorporated. Then you have a, a little bit of deliciousness. Stir that around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we're just going to chop up some banana. Just put that on the top. Oh, baby. Look at that, you guys. Is the lid going to close? Will it close? Yes, it will. There's just a little bit of room on top that can be um, sprinkled upon with some coconut uh, because, you know, you got to have a little coconut if you're having banana and mango. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby. And there you have it. That's another one. Another chia pudding. Do you want to make another one? Let's make one more. What kind shall we make? I have some of the dragon fruit, but I think that would be a moot point because the dragon fruit looks almost identical to the chia pudding. I would want some contrast in flavor. In uh, lemon. Thank you. I heard that. I thank you. <laughs> mm, that's a good banana. That was a horrible pudding. Oh, well. You don't know until you try. You know what I'm saying? So let's get that bowl back over here. Let's make some more chia pudding. So we're going to go with, again, three-quarter cups of... So you want like a one to one to four. Is that what you would call it? So this was one cup of... Three-quarters. Just a little bit over a cup of um, coconut milk. Thank you. <laughs> My God, thank God you're here. Thank God you're here. What would I do without you, man? Okay, so now we're going to put in a quarter cup and just a little bit more. So a quarter and one eighth of a cup. Just, it doesn't really matter. These ratios are approximate, you know, approximately a quarter of a cup of um a quarter of a cup of chia seeds to three quarters of a cup of liquid kind of gives a right amount of texture so that it it ends up looking like you know about that consistency once the chia seeds bloom a little bit this is 
good pudding with just, you can come and give it a little shake a -roo. This is the one without any um, um, fruit in it. And this is the one with mixed banana and mango. Just want to stir that around. Make sure to get all of the chia seeds nice and wet, nice and moisty. <laughs> What's your recipe, Alana? Al Alana's making the Bernsey burgers, but you, she probably already responded to. Down here somewhere. Love you, Bernadette. I'm going to get going, but I'm so proud of what you're sharing, and I love seeing you in your element shining loving us and your family i smell everything too kisses babe i love you i will see you real soon okay we'll connect we'll chat we'll have a little chat while we smoke a smoke a spliff together you in california me in canada i gotta go get my fan i'm having a little bit of a warm flash hold on Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels good. This would be great for breakfast. Like seriously, breakfast. This would be great for lunch. This would be great for a snack. Absolutely. It is like dessert, let me tell you. Ooh, you could put a little bit of peanut butter. I'm going to do one with peanut butter for Dally. He loves, he loves peanut butter. Peanut butter, coconut. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes. Uh, you can do lemon rind. You can also do raisins in here with the lemon. Um, I think I might do something like that for myself. Yes, indeed. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for playing Dr. Morris. A lot of people in my injury group worry about oxalates. Yeah. So if you go to green, uh, to raw figs, I always want to say green figs. If you go to rawfigs.com, that is where you, if you type in, let me show you the, I have a banner here for that somewhere. If you type into rawfigs.com, um, any topic related to what you want to, to discover, like oxalates, and then click the Dr. Morse uh, selection within that search menu, you'll see it. It will come up with a bunch, like there are tons in there with the oxalates. Like lots, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like about seven, seven different, uh, videos. And those were just from his older videos, right? So one of his students uh, indexed the, um, uh, his videos and put together this website where <clears throat> everything was indexed according to subjects, topics, and <clears throat> really, really helpful. You can just go on in and type in any um, subject that you would like to get more information on and up it pops with Oh, banana with the with the with the peanut butter. That would be a good one. Let's do that for Dolly. He will love that. He is going to love it. So yeah, go to rawfigs.com, type in 
um, whatever subject you're looking for to, to find more information on, and it will show you the videos and have a link right there to get the video information. So very helpful. Hey, 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 Aroha, how are you? So good to see you. Oh my God, that's the cutest picture ever of you and your man, you grabbing his bum. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it's delicious. So delicious. Doesn't the paste have refined sugar? What paste? What paste are we talking about that has refined sugar? I'm trying to sprout chickpeas again. Good. I'm going to sprout some too. Peanut butter and banana or peanut butter and dates. OMG. Yes. You know, he's not going to like the, the chew of the dates in there, but the banana and the, the peanut butter. Oh yeah, baby. So I've got some more here and I've got some more over here. So this one will be, since I'm putting bananas in here, let me scoop some of this into here. Sorry, I know I'm totally off camera there. My apologies. So this one is gonna have some peanut butter. How's everybody doing out here? Oh my gosh, we're still hanging out. It's Friday, are you guys loving hanging out in my kitchen with me? Clearly you must be or else you wouldn't be here, right? This has been such a fun day. So I'm just going to add into this about a, a tablespoon, I would say, like a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter, peanut butter. Oh yeah, baby. That is looking and smelling delicious. Oh, wow. I think I need a little bit more. I don't have any more. Coconut milk. It's okay. I'll use a little bit of liquid from here. There we go. There we go. Adjust as you go. Figure it out. Know what texture you're looking for. That's all that matters. What texture am I going for? I don't want it to be too gluey, you know? Too thick, but that thickness is also not a bad thing. Okay, let's get some bananas. He absolutely loves bananas. So this is going to be this is going to be a hit. Let's have a taste though. One must taste it. Did I put maple syrup in this one? I don't know, but it needs more. Just give that a stir. Go by your taste, you know. If you don't want it to be that sweet, then don't put any, don't put as much. I know, I know Dolly, he likes it a little, a little on the sweet side. Like me, that's why he likes me so much, because I'm so sweet. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't fuck with me though. I won't be so sweet then. I'm kidding, I will. You know I will. You know I have. Remember Carrie? Remember our friend Carrie? Was that this week or was that last week? I can't remember. Carrie, that was hilarious. Yummy. The vanilla paste. What does it have in it? Yeah, it does have sugar. Mm-hmm. But for the tiny bit of, of, of what I used in there, I think my body will be able to handle it. It's when you're using two cups of sugar, three cups of sugar in a recipe, and you're eating a quarter of the recipe before it even gets out of the oven. You know what I'm saying? 
That's yummy. I'm like, I'm looking for a banana. It's right over here. Ooh, you know what would be really good in here? I got some toasted. This is a lot of nuts. Like I don't have, I don't allow this, this, that's not true. I do eat peanuts. I do eat peanut butter and it it's not affected me negatively, but I also don't, I'm also careful about how much peanut butter I eat. You know what I'm saying? Give this a little shake up. You can see the, the seeds are starting to expand. Here's the one with the fruit. Look at that. This one, this is the one with the mango and, and banana. And this is the one that we did with the mango and raisins and coconut, a little bit of coconut on the top, sprinkle of coconut, a little sprinkle of coconut. And we can put some chopped peanuts in here as well. He also likes chopped walnuts, but I don't think I have any. But let's just get some of that. Just chop it up right in there. You can lay it out in layers, whatever. Sure, that looks fancy. Whatever, you can just also drop it in like, like so. And just like a saw, just like a saw. Have you guys made these chia bowls before, this chia pudding? Damn. Was it this week or was it last week that I made my first chia bowl on here? Live on camera with you guys. Live and alive. It might have been. Oh, and I have some cacao nibs. I also have some, um, go, um, not goji berries, some mulberries. That would be nice. But again, he's not a big fan of the texture of fruit in things, you know, of, of dried fruit. So I want to be mindful of that. Hey, honey, it's 8 a 8.20 a.m. on the Gold Coast, Australia. I better get up, LOL. Have you been laying in bed watching me? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Are you getting inspired? Look at all this stuff. You're doing research, okay, babe? And it's Saturday morning. Lay in bed for a little while longer. My goodness, what's the big rush? Where you, where you got somewhere to go? Go get your juice, come back to bed, and let's hang out. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that needs a little bit more liquid, but I, I think I might be overthinking it. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of utensils at my butt, so let me just use a fork. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. I kind of feel like I want to make a little, I'm too tired to do it actually. I want to make a little date slash peanut, date and peanut butter paste to go like caramel paste, you know, to go in between some layers of this thing. I think that would really make it sing. I think that would make it sing. Oh my God. Do I do it? <laughs> that could be bad, but so good, right, Alana? My blender is just right over here. I did soak some dates last week. How long do dates last if you soak them?
Let me see. I think they should be all right. Look at that. I had soaked these dates last week to use in a recipe. I never got around to using them. They taste perfectly fine. Ooh, I do need a little extra liquid for this as well. So I'm going to add in a little bit of extra date syrup, which was just... which was just, um, so hold on. let me add a little bit of date syrup. And by the way, that is some delicious sweetness because I just find this is too thick. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. That's the consistency I'm looking for. It's all about consistency, right? If something's too thick or too thin, you know, it's like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. But this is more what I'm looking for. Right there, look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh baby, that is some sexiness right there. I'm back, what did I miss? Oh my God, Rosie, you're not gonna believe what you missed. Oh, I don't know, nothing really, a lot of stuff. <laughs> you're back, that's all that matters. And that is that is stellar. We've been making um, chia pudding, Rosie. Have you ever made chia pudding? Oh my God, the chia pudding is the jam. So so far, I've made a chia pudding with uh, mango and raisins, and more mango on top with that coconut shredded coconut. We have made mango and banana. Again, with a little shredded coconut on top. And we have made just straight up um, uh, vanilla. Straight up vanilla with some Madagascar bourbon vanilla. And we, have, we are now making some peanut butter mango, uh, sorry, some peanut butter chocolate. No. So let me do that again. Some banana, peanut butter, peanut butter, banana, um, chia pudding. And I was just going to make up some peanut butter and date caramel sauce for, for this one. You know, you know, for that times you or your, your delicious lover and your, your beautiful daughter want something sweet and something decadent and a really nice treat. These dates Oh, wow. Look at, they just kind of fall apart. Did I pit these before I put them in here? I think I may have. Yes, I did. So I'm going to just put, let me see. One, two, three, four. I'm just doing, I'm just going to go with 10. Five. <laughs> Six, seven. All you're really looking for is to cover up that blade, right? Let's just go with seven. Oh my God. Oh. That is some deliciousness. We're going to get a little bit of the liquid in there too. And just the liquid in here is just like, oh my God. You guys, that's another thing that I'm going to start stocking up with in my pantry. Kelly, I don't know if you were here that time, but I was saying that it's so much more cost effective for me to get my, my dates up here, girl. Now, mind you, they're not those beautiful, organic, lovely, big, delicious, plum-sized dates. But with the American exchange rate, it's just not going to happen for me, you know? just not going to happen. I got, I got picked up two pounds of dates today for $12.99. I think five pounds would have cost me over $60 Canadian by the time I took into account the exchange rate and shipping. I put it through my 
a shopping cart there and I was like, $60 for five pounds of dates. Can't do it. I just can't do it. That's too much. For five pounds of dates, I mean. Okay. All right. So we've got some dates in here. I've got a little bit of that date liquor. And I just soaked those dates um, and just had them in the fridge for, gosh, I would say maybe a week or even maybe more. I don't know. But I just want to make a beautiful caramel type sauce. So let us do that. Well, I don't want to put too much peanut butter, though. You know, I don't want it to be like, that's peanut butter sauce. No, I want it to be like a caramel, a caramelized sauce. Where is my lid? I'm just going to blend that up for a little bit till it's smooth. I need the plunger or I need a little bit more liquid or maybe just the plunger. So I don't, I want to make it thick, you know? I want to make this caramel sauce like thick so that it could stand up between the layers. Oops, that's not what I want to do. My lab work shows that I react to chia, but I've never had chia before. Maybe I should give it a try. Why not? Worst case scenario, you have a little reaction. You come back off. You say, okay, that wasn't for me. I think you started to say something about dates, but got sidetracked. No, me? Sidetracked? Couldn't be. Yes, it does sound like a plane is taking off in here. Oh, wow, baby. Look at how smooth that got that. That is so smooth. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I need to find those peanuts. Do I have any more of those peanuts? That's the question of the day. Yes, I do. No, I don't. That's not them. Yep. Okay, let's move some stuff around here. Let's clear some, let's clear the way because we got a masterpiece to create for my delicious we have a delicious masterpiece to create for my delicious lover it's going to have peanuts it's going to have caramel sauce it's going to have peanut butter banana there's a peanut butter banana parfait I mean, I don't know if it will rival. Kelly's Gourmet Ice Cream Shop 
with the fresh waffle bowls, but holy shit. I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. Just getting all that cleaned off because I don't want to deal with it later. Mm. <clears throat> That's some good shit. I just couldn't resist. Hello, kitty. Bonjour, chaton. What do you need? Let me guess. Food. Okay. Let me get you. Yeah, I'm going to get you some food. Yes, I will feed you. Come here. There you go. Where is Miss Dottie? Miss Dottie sleeping? Okay. I should say that, but now I wrecked it. Okay. All right. All righty. Okay, spatula. Okay, let's get this poured out. It's not being poured into a fancy bowl because um, I don't feel like dirtying an extra bowl. Well, but it would just be nicer, you know, Burns? Just do the right thing. All right, I will. <laughs> this is how I talk to myself on the regular. Welcome to my brain. Welcome to my brain. So I've got a nice little serving dish. Cause I'm fancy. Let's just get that scraped out. Are you guys inspired to make this chia pudding? I hope you make it. It's so good, you guys. And it's got all of that beautiful omega fatty acids that you want in your body that you don't want to be getting from, you know, animal sources. You can totally get everything you need from our plants, right? Look at that. Look at that beautiful caramel sauce. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so let's build this um, masterpiece, shall we? I'm just gonna get out a little bit more from under that blade. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's some good shit. That is some good shit. Okay, let's get another jar. And let's layer this bad boy up, shall we? 
still have my sticker on the bottom. <laughs> I'm so bougie. Not at all. I'm so ghetto fabulous. That's the real truth. So we're just going to spoon this in. Look at that. Oh my God. And then we're going to spoon in some of this delicious date and peanut butter caramel sauce. Look at that. Peanut butter and banana heaven. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's get some on the... Just tap it down. I don't like those air bubbles. Let me see what I can do about that. About them, their air bubbles. I should have done that in between the layers, you know? So I'm just uh, getting out some of those air bubbles because I don't like how that looks. I like it to look pretty without all the air bubbles. I should have done that on the bottom here. See where those air bubbles are? Right now I'm just going along the sides here and just kind of smushing that down with the toothpick. There we go. Beautiful. And then we're going to just top it off with some more of that beautiful caramel sauce. Oh my God. Do you see that? And I still have a tiny bit of room at the very top of that jar that'll fit right inside of the lid here. I can do a little bit more chopped um, fruit up in there. I'm gonna put some stuff away. Do a little, it's, oh, I didn't put the peanuts. Shit, why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> why am I sign, sounding so whiny? Got this handy little chopperoo situation going on. Let's get that chopped up. Sprinkle a little chopped nuts. I really wanted to have the chopped nuts in between. The layers. Oh well. Now I know. Now we're just gonna not have any chopped uh, fruit, but we'll have some chopped nuts. There you go. Will it close? Yes, it will. There you have it. I mean, I could have put some of that on the bottom so that the layers are a little bit, but it's okay. It's not really Instagram worthy yet, but you know, 
Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. That's really good. That is really yummy. I think that's it. I'm gonna rinse out the blender as I go. Try to clean up as many things as I go so that in the end it's easier to, you know, pack up the kitchen afterwards. I got my sprouting trays in, you guys. I'm not going to open the box until tomorrow, though. I will unbox that with you guys tomorrow. My sprouting trays. Mm. So delicious, so yummy. If you guys make any of these things, please hashtag at the real juicy detox. I'm gonna make a mess and I know it, but I'm gonna try doing it anyhow. You know, Burns, don't do that. You'll regret that. You will regret it. And then you'll just have more stuff to sweep up off the floor. Yeah, make sure that you hashtag the real juicy detox because I want to see what you guys make. I hope I've inspired you to make some chia pudding. Mm. And, um, you know, I'll see you beautiful people back here in a couple hours at eight o'clock to check in. Maybe we'll have Dolly do a taste test of the peanut butter parfait or the chia seed with um, mango and, and raisins. He won't eat that. He doesn't like raisins in his food. Or some mango banana or some straight up deliciousness in the vanilla, the Madagascar vanilla. So yeah, that was so much fun, was it not? Let me know if you guys try these, post it in the group. Don't be shy, come on over to our Facebook group. If you're, if you're like one of us, you know, not if you're one of those, um, what did we call her? What was the name? Don't be a Daphne up in here. Don't be a Daphne up in here. And yeah, we will see you guys back at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh my goodness, that's like in two hours. We'll come back, I'll check in. Hopefully I will not have passed out because I got to admit I'm feeling tired today. We did a lot today. We did a lot here within the class, within the group. We bounced at 8 a.m. this morning, right? I had a one-on-one -on -one co coaching session with Anne, Anne Louise. I had a coaching session with my Kaya, my daughter. She's doing great, by the way. Just at, at a crossroads, you know, at a crossroads and needs to make it some decisions and knows what the decisions are that she needs to make, but is like not wanting to hurt somebody because it doesn't, it means that her life is going to take, go in a different direction. And I'm like, babe, you have to do what is best for you. Look to the future, look to the future and know that, um, I have more of this stuff. I can do more. Look to the future and know that uh, whatever decision you make has to serve that future. 
You want to think of your future babies who are, you know, I said, I don't know if you, you're thinking about having kids. And she said, oh, definitely I am down, down the road. I said, well, whatever decision you make right now in your relationships, you got to think of this from your future baby's perspective. <laughs> you know, you want to be on the same page with, uh, with, with everything in the core key important areas, because it's one thing, it's one thing to uh, say that you want certain things for your your future babies, Mandy. This is very much like the discussion we had with Mandy the other day, right? About choosing a mate, lining up with a, a partner who is in full alignment with who and what you are. It's such an important thing, and if you sacrifice too much in um, you know, settle for less than what you want. It, that will that shit will come back to bite you. You will regret that. So don't do that. Don't do that. Always follow your heart. Always do what you know is best for you, even if it might mean that somebody's feelings might get hurt. And like I said, everything is always about your evolution, your spiritual evolution. This will anything that you go through, especially relationship wise, will help you in that evolution. I don't know what I said that made you laugh, but I'm glad that I did. It looks yummy. I'll have to try it. Yes, do try it. Do try this. It's so good. So I'm going to sign off for now, and then I will be back at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you guys so much.